Welcome to Now You're Playing With Podcast, episode 18. I've always been a really big fan of pinball, and I've pretty rarely ever passed up an opportunity to play it. But I honestly never imagined that I'd be at a point where I was traveling, you know, throughout the state and to other states just to, to play pinball machines. I'd have like a pinball machine in my house and I'd be online, like, you know, watching tutorials for how to get different modes and stuff. It's it's crazy how much in the past, just like year and a half, pinball has become a really big part of my life. Uh, not just mine, too. Uh, also, like, you know, the other folks in the podcast. And the even crazier thing is that we're going to talk about pinball for two hours. And on top of talking about pinball for two hours, it's going to be like fun and exciting. So what happened was uh, back in uh, April, we went to the Pinberg tournament, which is uh, part of PAPA. PAPA is the Professional and Amateur Pinball Association. And uh, twice a year, they open up their uh, their big warehouse like full of pinball machines, and they do a, a giant pinball tournament. Uh, when the tournament's running, they have uh, machines that are like dedicated to the tournament, but then they're pretty much the rest of their archive of pinball machines are available for, for just anybody to come in and play. Uh, so, uh, all of the, the hosts of the, of the podcast, all the friends of the podcast, we all, uh, you know, trekked over to Pennsylvania and, uh, played pinball for like pretty much the whole weekend. Now I do have to say before we actually get started into the episode, uh, there are a bunch of people in the room. There must've been like, 12 or 13 people in and out of the room and talking. We had as many mics as we could, but the audio is going to be kind of all over the place. So expect this one to be uh, eh, maybe not the best quality, but uh, it's still just fantastic and fun and high energy. So I hope you guys enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoyed recording it. Now you're playing with podcast. Welcome to Pinball Night in America. We don't have a what, – what's her face on, on Football Night in America who sings that stupid song who doesn't do it? Oh, yeah. We don't have her. Uh, no, it's Monday Night Football. Yeah, Faith Hill. Is that it? Uh, whatever. We don't have her. a country singer. Yes. I don't think she's a pinball fan. <laughs> no. You don't, you don't know. Hey, you yeah, want to play some pinball? Pin, pinball's really good Are you ready for some pinball? Copyright. Trademark. Copyright. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the Amazon link under our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> buy, buy some guns. <laughs> America. America. Are you ready to pinball? But like, she always does like this really long, drawn out, horrible song. So, but like, she's blonde and has boobs. They don't really. That's, yeah. That's her, yeah. But like, she has to that's figure out some way to rhyme cowboy. Mm-hmm. Can, can we pay her some way to figure out how to rhyme pinball? Football. <laughs> Sinball. <laughs> Sinfall. Sonic Spinball? Sonic Spinball. <laughs> Sonic Spinball. Okay. We don't so need to pay her now. We, we went to... Uh, <laughs> Ten. Got it. We went to Papa last weekend, a bunch of us, So and now a week later, here we are talking about it in a basement in a hidden location. Hey, Chris, what's Papa? The Professional and Amateur <laughs> Pinball Association. Talk in the microphone. <laughs> Ten points if you're, you're going to trash talk Chris, get a mic. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put on record. To, to us, it's just a warehouse full of pinball machines. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. all you need to know. Yeah. With sweet tokens. Just outside of Pittsburgh? Just outside lovely, of Pittsburgh, lovely Pennsylvania. Lovely Pittsburgh. Yes. In Car- Carnegie. 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 Across the river. Lots mm-hmm. of, yeah. Very good time. They're open twice a year. Go there. I think we talked about it last time, but... So... You like it? You like his libraries? Yeah. If you're gonna tell jokes, get a I, microphone. It wasn't worth it, really. Sorry. Yes, it was. <laughs> Thanks to Carnegie, you have a job, and we have a daughter. <laughs> he only knew. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was all set up just for all those year. homestead yeah. people that got <laughs> shot by the Pinkertons. Thanks. Totally worth it. <laughs> You don't you don't know the story of the the homestead strike? Bioshock, yeah, 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 there we go. How far how far afield have we gotten? Already? Yeah, uh, that, uh, you know, pinball, there needs to be a okay. Well, th- let's let's start with our with our goofy topic. Then we were just talking in the restaurant last week about our fantasy pinball machines. Oh yeah, and I think a Carnegie pinball machine would be fantastic. No, where no. you can shoot the strikers. No, 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 no. Get the Pinkerton multi ball. No, we need to do T- TGIF. No, we need to do TGIF pinball. We need to do TGIF pinball because we were going to do what was the what was the full house? Uh, well, yeah, we were funny some videos. Night, oh, yeah, yeah, originally. I don't know. If you're, you're a classic, line I thought maybe you were talking about the restaurant. 
pin, perfect oh, like, str- TGIF pinball oh, no. restaurant. Yeah. Like you get this. You have extreme have, uh, fajita <laughs> multi ball. Full house, oh, perfect strangers, step by step. Well, I mean, get your pieces of flair. Boy meets world. Family, family matters. Flair multi ball. I take that. We need more microphones, I think, Ten. Yeah, I think we do. Do you want me to pause it real quick? And... Yeah. You have All potato right. skins multi ball. What's some? I don't know any specific dishes they have. So, if you have potato skins multi ball, can you? Well, but we gotta get more microphones because if you're not talking to us, we're gonna yeah. miss all this good stuff. So, where's your condensed? We in? We start. Terrible game. Okay. Start. Yep. Nope. We're let's, back. Let's we're ready go back. Again. Okay. Perfect strangers pinball. Yay or nay? Well, oh, yay. Yay. Well, yeah, all, yeah, the, the whole team totally yay. I think that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have the uh, the the dance of joy multi ball. You need to have mm-hmm. the um, the Arabia Nights spinner in the middle with the um, the the revolving door from the very beginning. You need to have like <laughs> like Wrigley Field like ball trap in the back. The It'd be perfect. Scene. Yeah, exactly. The hot air balloon. Uh, do, do you collect goats? Maybe or, I don't so, like, know. Have a little have a little Dimitri what? like off in the side. What, what was the country he was from? Wasn't there like fifty nine letters Meepos. in it or something? Meepos. 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 No, Meepos. I'm thinking of the taxi of uh, Lutka. Yeah, yeah. Lutka. Lutka. Where was mm. he from? Who knows? Something know. that had like upper, upper Slobovia or, or something. <laughs> most letters are like most words in pinball are like six or seven letters. Whereas, uh. yeah, get it? Hilarious. Yeah, good one, good one, Chris. <laughs> All right, other, uh, so we, keep uh, those we were, coming. We talking about the, the... <laughs> Golden Girls. Golden Girls pinball. We were talking. Ten uh, no. and I were having a, a no. lovely Nay. conversation. Thumbs about, down. No wait, wait. Thumbs no, down. No, no, no. Thumbs the, down. The multi ball. We were gonna do the different areas and like if for for Rose or Sophia or whatever. You could do like the kitchen or the lanai. Cheesecake multi ball. The lanai. <laughs> How about Star Wars Holiday Special pinball with, with BR? <laughs> no, 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 no. You do realize that that would get you immolated should, immediately. You, no, see, Star what Wars happens nerds. is you put in your quarters. It would destroy itself. And then itself. George Lucas like puts rolls out a big black like metal screen across the oh, table. Oh, it's like the blender you, from you're Tommy. You're not allowed to play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Tommy blenders. Yep. This didn't happen. You know, the no. one we were talking about at the restaurant, the uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> <laughs> Every time yeah, you lose a ball, it kicks you in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but then takes video of you. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they post it. That's, that's the thing is, it, it takes video of you when it kicks you in the nuts, and then instantly upload it, to, uploads it to YouTube. And you could win hundred thousand. So, yeah, you could win hundred thousand dollars. Totally worth it. I would play that game twenty four seven. And he'd never Where's be able cop? to have children again. I was watch you play that and just get kicked in the nuts. Well, and then I would win $100,000 for like a uh, medley video. Isn't of- this already a Japanese <laughs> game show? <laughs> I'll kick I you in the nuts! Japanese! <laughs> We it's must feed forward, forward idiocracy. Why are you must happen. I was just about to say, to yeah. who are you people? Shut up. I'm watching nice. out my balls. <laughs> <laughs> the pinball game. Oh, man. So, I mean, there are infinite number of, of properties that you can make a really great pinball machine out of. Queen. Oh, yeah. Queen. There's queen. Like a queen pinball. Queen. Pinball. Queen. Yeah. We also yeah. made that the next one has metallic. Well, that's like I said, it's the uh, joke I used already. It's the uh, Beavis and Butthead collection, Metallica and ACDC. Yep. So Winger Pinball is next. (laughs) (laughs) Stuart. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I mean, hopefully the Metallica one will be fun, and hopefully they have a button I can mute it with, so I don't have to hear them mute it. But, you know, that was Uh, was a thing, too, that that we were talking about as well, was um, even on top of just, like, the license. Yeah. CSI. That, that, CSI was wonderful. That was that, that's that's another topic. Yeah, I'm CSI was actually a lot of fun. It was weird. I, that's coming up later. We'll, we'll okay. talk about CSI. Alone with, oh, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Fantastic. Order, order. <laughs> this is uh, well, I was, I was Columbus, by the way. Yeah, yeah there's one. It's the, the palace. Yes, that's where I took it. Wow. I, my my fantasy band pinball machine, I guess, would be the Ramones. I guess we had a discussion, and Corey hates the Ramones. Absolutely, but, yeah. But are they deserving of a pinball machine? No, in your, no. they're not <laughs> even deserving of an album. The games would only be like thirty <laughs> seconds long. <Yeah. laughs> Rock and roll high school, pinball. and you wouldn't be that able to. Be, see you know that was filmed here hair, locally, so. right? Oh, really? At uh, Hamilton local mm-hmm. high school. Rock and roll high school in the eighties. Rock and roll high school is filmed here. And at Hamilton, uh, so you know, down, I had heard that. One. The the oh, one in the eighties. There was one. There was one scene of Rock and Roll High School that was filmed oh, at one, Hamilton one, Local one, one scene, okay. because they have like Hamilton has this big, you know, the big um, columns out in front of it, and they wanted it for like the look. No, I don't know my local high schools. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, can we make a pact kind of based on that? 
if Stern comes out with Glee the pinball, can we all go to Stern's factory and just collectively burn it down? <laughs> with what? The pinball? Glee. 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 Pinball. No, 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 no. At that point, we go ahead and we rebrand it. Somebody took, last year they took a Flash Gordon pinball table, which is really sad, but they took a Flash Gordon pinball table and they made a Ghostbusters pinball table. That, was was awesome. Awesome. that would be yeah, awesome. We, we played that at Papa. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, well, no, but I like Flash Gordon, so it makes me kind of sad that they, they took and killed a Flash Gordon, but no, at the they didn't same kill time, it. They just made it better. <laughs> what, 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 the look I on look, Becky's face right now is opinion. really priceless. It's just fact. Yeah. What <laughs> would be a good? You know, this but is how can you disagree that transition? What, it's would, what would Glee well, the, turn I, into? I, I like those. Oh. Well, no, at that point, you... transition ashes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it, it, no, we can. Can we take the Glee the pinball machine and make that Duck Hunt one you shared earlier, Tatton? That Duck Hunt one looked absolutely awesome. I want to play the Duck Hunt. Those guys that made the Duck Hunt pinball, they're working on a Predator pinball that they they keep putting videos up from scratch, kind of like Bill Paxton pinball, and it's going to be sweet. Okay. Now, you would be awesome with the Predator pinball is if they did a um, uh, like invisible a like a, an invisible camouflage mode Heat where, where you like... where you buried like you buried the multi balls and then when it like released the like the, the camouflage multi ball it brought like clear ones out oh, like clear yeah. polymer yeah. ones that's a good that would idea. be awesome. I can't imagine the physics of a clear pinball because well, the lights would go through it and so it would like it but would I mean awesome. how would because they, they bounce already. With you have to send that because the they're not. Fit it would have to be like a really yeah. solid yeah. polymer, kind of heavy like acrylic. yeah. yeah. I mean, so I guess yeah, what I mean, you there's use a, like a clear there's bowling. There's ball a ceramic maybe. ball yeah. in Twilight Zone. Yeah, so. you can get a heavy plastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but those guys, they made the duck hunt pinball just as like a side project for you know the predator pinball is the main project. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were bored working on the predator one, so we made the duck hunt. Yeah, one. we just, we just the duck one is awesome. Break. But the, yeah. the fortitude to make a pinball machine from scratch, including all the like electronic, like the it wasn't the, from scratch. Or oh, the Predator, predator might is not? not be, but Duck Hunt was. Uh, oh yeah, Duck Hunt was a the, the yes, Duck Hunt's yeah. Modified. The Predator, I, I'm pretty sure they just the building oh, wow. it the wood and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So wait, can we put can we put uh, Golden Girls in the Glee one instead? No. 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 <laughs> there, well, there we're vetoing no Golden Girls. Yes, on TGIF to die. Well, so, no on Golden Girls. There is one thing I do have to say about about the licenses, though. Is um, I think there comes a point where. If the machine is good enough, the license doesn't really matter. Yeah. I mean, I yep. hit this two CSI. times. The, the CSI, CSI one, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. I hate CSI. That was one of the most No fun... one believed me until they played it. Yeah, How was, awesomely was, fun CSI machine. is. That was and really was no well done. Either. I loved it. <laughs> right. There, there it no, didn't go, That's like wah! the only good thing about CSI or the... CSI. Uh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> all right. right. The, 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 uh, I have watched CSI. The David so, Caruso quips and the uh, followed by the Who screaming. No, okay. I mean it has a lot of cool stuff though. You get the two eyeball like in the skull locks, yeah. and you yeah, get the centrifuge. Yeah, that the multi ball is. In there and, and then you've got the you've got the little microscope, the microscope that has the three, the three colors yeah. that you can light separately. Mm-hmm. Well, Corey, because I saw I saw the board and I thought CSI. There's no way this could be good. Uh, it's a lot and, of fun, and but I think that's interesting because if you're if you're not acquainted with it, you think oh the license isn't any good, and so it might be easy to dismiss it. Did it so have, that's kind of an interesting did it message. Have Comic Sans on it, like the font no. was wrong. I Demolition know. Man, right? Is, is that Demolition a, Man's pretty fun, especially if you get the movie. one that's that's <laughs> like the the secret. Uh, there's one that has a. Um, a tilt, like a danger warning uh-huh. that instead of being the regular danger warning, it's like an unedited one where the machine screams fuck you at you. <laughs> what, when you when you shake it, yeah. Oh, like, yeah that was over a Dr. Scott's. So. Oh, it's, it's so much fun though. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the, the fonts are bad. The thing yes, is, though, the Stern, CSI Stern just here grabs fonts from Microsoft Word. Like they don't. I, I I don't know. They they should draw some fonts once in a while or something. Well, the I don't CSI know. here in Columbus is actually a lot more generous with scoring than the one that was at Papa. I noticed that because I put up I put up like thirty million at the one at here in Columbus, and the one at Papa. I think I was lucky to get maybe five. I think it, a, the scoring is way different. I there's think there's some... a lot of machines at Papa that are like tuned for the professionals and not just for standard yeah. play. There's there's a lot that feel they'll a lot they'll actually harder. take um, rubbers out after and stuff to yeah. make them more difficult. Them. Um, <laughs> yeah, what does that mean to tune it to tune a board for a professional or competitive? A couple things. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know, I know why there were a lot of them that were jacked way up in the back. Like the angle like is really steep. Was yeah. Just not mm-hmm. even. So does that mean it's faster? Yeah, yeah. it'll, it'll be, be faster. The ball comes down faster at you. Or they don't give you any tilt warnings. Yeah. Or they take out a rail like it. Or a bumper, like so, it goes down the drain. Like the, the like classic the one is on is, is on more. Twilight Zone, where they take the bump. Like the there's a set of bumpers right by the left outlane, and they'll take 
for the professional one, they'll take um, just one little peg out with a rubber on it, but it makes the ball That's almost instantaneously said. drain every time you hit it in the bumpers to make it so you never hit it there. So, so there's so, more failure points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they'll also randomly um, kick you in the nuts when you're playing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Achilles tendon while you're playing. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. They walk up behind you. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> you're like, ah! Pennywise just rolls around. We all float down here. And you're just like, oh, God. And then you're just completely I do an shut pinball. off for the entire game. It pinball the Shining. I do this. Yeah. <laughs> Be all right with Stephen that. King pinball. Awesome. Yeah. 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 That's way overdue. The they can have mini little, series they can have it. Twins. Mm-hmm. Not the book. The mini series. Yeah, not the book. I the don't mi- know. Miniseries. No, but they, what they need to do, what I'm vision, envisioning when you first said that was uh, to have like two ramps and each ramp has one of the twins at the bottom of it that on mm-hmm. one of those little round flippy the thing the spinner. spinner 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh if you want to get technical on us steven come on now <laughs> i'm just a girl <laughs> i don't know anything about I video games hey awesome. i didn't know i didn't know any of these words a year ago so even <laughs> myself <laughs> yeah this, this is about a year anniversary from our first trip to papa we just the yep. three of us in yeah because we started with pinberg look at right? all these people we've infected <laughs> mm-hmm well, I think the thing is that pinball is one of those things that's fun, and anybody can realize that it's fun. And then once you start playing it, you start realizing there's more to it than just hitting it with the flippers. And I think that it, it's got a lot of skill level to it. So a and lot of people really dig it's it. It's red blooded American too. Oh yeah, it's super American. Well, but even and if it's you're also not good at Chicago. It, it's still fun to play. Mm-hmm. Like, Golly, from curve. Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's. I mean, it's. It, I don't know that the learning cur- the learning curve is there, and it can be really sharp. But I think the thing is, you can always feel like you're doing something every game you play. So regardless of whether you're good or not. It's still fun to knock the ball around. If it's American, is it irreregardless? Mm, maybe. Are <laughs> well, you correcting my grammar? No. I'll drop the mic. I'll drop the mic. I'll just drop it. Normal sound. Okay. <laughs> Boom. I have, I have to hold my pinky Toilet. out when I'm holding this. Too, so. so I just realized I was doing that. So I think the other thing, too, about pinball is that there's something there's something extra that it gives you with everything being physical mm-hmm. rather than just playing a video game. Because, I mean, there's... You know, video games are fun, and as the graphics get more and stuff, they start to get a little more immersive. But the reach that there's that point of just actually having, you know, real physical movement, physical switches, motors, and everything that it gets in your brain in a different way. Than, yeah, uh, it does. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> it's, it's the ultimate tactile experience because you know when you're playing video games, the best games are the ones where if you push a button, something immediately happens and you feel it. Pinball, yeah. you always get that no matter what. Even the shittiest pinball table, you can feel. Right, well, yeah, exactly. I mean, why, why, you know, why was force feedback introduced, or why do the racing wheels that people use have like realistic force Fric- feedback? Friction. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. It, it, I vibration. think that that's yeah, vibration. I mean, let's talk about res for a minute. So, yeah. but let's not. There's a child in the room. I think that I think that's a big thing about it. Is like when you play on an actual machine, you can you feel everything. Like there are ramps that feel good. For some weird reason, you're like, there's like Tales from the Crypt has a wire ramp that just feels awesome every time you hit it. You're just yeah, like, oh, that felt good. You make that angle, and it it's a fun angle to hit, and then it makes a sound, and a, there's this kind of weird sort of feedback back through the table that you feel through the flippers. Well, and then being able to actually affect the game by ac- bumping the yeah. table, you know, you can make a Which ball I'm still go. trying to get used to. I it's, still, yeah, I, I, yeah, I still I, grab that mentality of I'm going to break this. Tilting does feel a little machinery. dirty if you're not I can't used do to that it. At all. And I, it's hard to think about, like, you hit it the opposite direction, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, it's like, it, it's a like zero friction. A, a tablecloth out from under a. A plate. You know, yeah. The ball stays where it is, but the table shifts. The easiest like, yeah. way I've heard someone <laughs> describe it is assume that the ball has zero friction. Uh-huh. So you're not really affecting the ball. You're affecting the surface that it's on. So you want to yeah. move the table where you want it to go, and the ball just has its own velocity. Kind of like monkey um, ball. Yeah. I also yeah, like to take yeah. a magnet and just put on the glass and just rub and put the yeah. ball over. Yeah, because yeah, that's good for the glass. Or take, take the glass off and just <laughs> grab the ball. Yeah, or just take the and just flick the switches yourself. We were we were playing uh, the gay nineties, which is an old table. Probably mm-hmm. it was at the the fifties, sixties, fifties, sixties something. Yeah, sixties. Okay, so a lot of fun. Older table, slower. Early 60s. Um, so we were playing it, and when I played through, I, I feel like I, I did meow. I feel like I did pretty well on it. And then Mr. Floor went ahead and played the next round, and he actually was, mo- <laughs> like, you know, manipulating the table back and forth. 
and able to hit it between you know the bumpers more and rack up better score. That's oh, a bit girl, I manipulate really tables all day. Mm-hmm. You can actually do that a bit more. That maybe would be a good one to learn it's how to do the, that. All yeah, old it's electromechanical machines right. and stuff like that. You really have to bump them a lot more. Yeah, so, and the, the fun going to hold the mic like this. Yeah, especially on the um, oh, not the valleys. The Gottliebs had like ridiculously small flippers. <laughs> that said flipper. Yeah, that said flipper. flipper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I noticed most of the ones with the actual just original bells. The oh, those are fantastic. Are always yeah. really Tiny. Making the same sound. The, Everything makes the same sound. At least it works like a banana. Okay. Oh, no, yeah, disco, disco was fun. Freaking disco fever. Disco fever was great. <laughs> who thought banana that course. was a good idea? That was one of the most People who liked things. disco. Who are the ad wizards that came up with? Well, the, well doesn't it, like, totally jack up your, like, angles? Oh, yeah, entirely. Right. The, the Shadow originally had banana flippers as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that was, like... Outside of the early tables, I think that's one of the only tables in the later eras that had banana flippers. But so weird. So <laughs> weird. Well, I, so, I, I I posed the question earlier, and of course you, you're talking about your pilgrimage to Papa. And obviously the, you, you talk about how good it feels to play in a physical game. But do you think that the popularity of pinball has increased because of the availability of very convincing emulators do you think that has gotten people more into yes i can't speak for other people but it's gotten me into it and since i'm in my mid-30s i am looking for new experiences and i tend to look backwards to find shit i've missed throughout the years and i think pinball is the, the great example of that it's something that because you literally couldn't get to you know all these tables. Yeah, you I, only had like two or three in your before town. Before we before we went to Papa the or to Pinburg, um, the first time I hadn't played a Twilight Zone machine in probably ten years, yeah. and now I can play it on Pinball Arcade for five bucks. Yeah. So and I can it, it's it's so much nicer. Like you get to learn how to play them and it gets you more into it. The more you can play with something like in that, that realm, it makes you want to play the physical thing more. So I think it's helped out a lot. Well, um, and plus I think our, our generation is like kind of the tail end of the arcade generation. Like, you know, I remember there being arcades in every mall and arcades in all the restaurants and like all this stuff, like arcades were everywhere and there were always people playing games and being able to go to a game. And that's kind of like, disintegrated mm-hmm. over now the past now people, should, now people stay home. and people stay at home and play, which is fine. But now that we're all getting older and thinking, okay, what can we do? That's really, really cool. This is what we're doing. And yeah. so now there's a resurgence of everybody going, yeah, I want to go play some pinball. Well, like the Boston PD, let us leave our houses. Finally. Uh, so, well, no, so <laughs> like when it comes to pinball, there's a, there's a level there's a level of difference in how it plays too. Instead of doing like Call of Duty or whatever, like you're playing something that you should never have the same game twice ever. It will never be a replica of what you had previously because physics and chaos theory and all of that fun stuff. It's going to be different every time you play it, mm-hmm. and you you're it's you know you against the machine and against all of the bumpers and everything like that. It's different when you're playing different tables, but I mean you know it's. It's just a different feel, and the emulators do it really well. I mean, but p- when you're able to put your hands on a real machine, Pinball hard. Arcade finally got it right. I think there's, I mean, Zen Pinball's <laughs> decent. We were talking about, but Pinball Arcade, obviously, it's not anything like playing a real pinball, but it's pretty damn close. Um, and they mm. they try pretty hard. So, so. Something else yeah. to do if you're going out to play pinball: play with other people. Playing by yourself, it, it's, wait, it's your good. money will drain. Your very money fast. drains very fast with the <laughs> balls. But playing four players on each machine. You can be there for a good 10, 15 minutes and shit talk and sit get back and watch somebody and else. And you, one, one in four of you are probably going to get an extra game. And it, it's, it's a good competitive time. And when we were at Papa last week and my wife and I spent less than 20 bucks for being there after like six hours or so. Yeah, 18 it, bucks for five you, hours. You just, yeah. you just talked about the experience of playing a table and then watching someone else play a table. And if you really want to learn a table, try to get better at your play, obviously watching someone else play that, you can get a lot of insight talk about out it of it. Goddamn yeah. ten is Whereas, Jones. Well, if, if, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, get to well, that. Is, like, but what, what you were saying, Becky, is like I will probably never, ever pick up Call of Duty because I'm not good at that kind of video game. 
it's it gets frustrating for me, and I know <laughs> the clacker that, just went ah! off upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everybody's excited. <laughs> <laughs> and if I pick it up and start playing it, I know that I have to like put in a ton, a ton, a ton of practice with everything, and and learn how to play the game, and still probably never get to the end. Whereas with pinball, I can stick in a corner, and maybe the first time I'm not going to be that great at it. Maybe the second time I'm going to like get multi balls, and it's going to be an awesome game. And maybe the third time I'm going to suck at it again. But like it's different every, like you said it's different every time and i you know i don't as a as a not like hardcore gamer it's it's more rewarding to have the possibility of this one game i did really well whereas if i pick up some you know Xbox shooter. I just know that I'm gonna suck at another it no matter nice, what. Well, I another think- nice thing is uh, they're they're not attached to the internet, so there's no people calling me a. N- <laughs> right. I, th- I think too. the beauty of pinball too is even that it's any of those. <laughs> oh yes. I got called out on Xbox Live my very first time. They're, playing poker. That's why my 11 year old is playing not allowed poker. on playing Xbox. Poker, not even Call of Duty or whatever was yeah. popular back in the days. So there's I- never been a greater high. Of scum and villainy, yes. <laughs> but, but and I think, Xbox yes. Live. <laughs> so something that's kind of interesting be about careful. pinball. Talking about Call of Duty, is that you look at like our modern day controllers, the PS3 controller, the Xbox controller. There's like umpteen billion buttons, five different control pads, and everything else on pinball. It's not even a number. Yep, it is now. Oh. The numbers <laughs> do what gabillion? I tell them to do. I like it. Um, Make it so. There. That's a new Star Wars villain, isn't it? Sure. Okay. Darth um, umpteen billion. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Your lack of rational numbers is disturbing. <laughs> so with pinball, you have really a maximum of four buttons. Generally, you only have two, and that's how you play the entire game. There's more skill involved in actually doing well in pinball, I would say, over a Call of Duty where it's like get crosshair over face, pull trigger, continue until dead and called various it's names. It's, it's maximalism. It's it's well, doing one thing over and over and over and over again extremely well. Yeah. It, it's the and one thing that we really the, it's one thing we really lose with, with modern gaming right now. And it's a thing that I mean it's a thing that made Tetris what it is. It's the easy to learn, almost impossible to master. It's Othello. But the, you can you can button mash no, I think actually, in pinball yeah, it, and do well. Yeah, yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> is that even my four year old does well with pinball? If once he figures out that as long as he watches the ball, he can still put up you know a good couple hundred thousand points and feel good about himself. It's got no age limit up or down. Are, are we saying pinball is Tekken? Because I don't <laughs> think I can agree with that. Mash two buttons and Eddie Gordo just kicks. No, me button mashing in fighting games isn't as, different as satisfying for me. Yeah. <laughs> I could beat a five year old well, doing it's, that, it's but not much else. Without being directly competitive, though, like you can't get you can't get mad at somebody or like like I know when I play fighting games, the reason I don't play fighting games anymore is because they make me really angry because I'm fighting I, like I'm having a battle with somebody. Whereas like pinball, you're you're competing on the same machine if you're playing like a multiplayer game. But it's not like a head-to-head, like it's somebody. Four of you fighting the table. Was that yeah. machine? Was that activated? Oh, uh, they had the joust yeah. machine yes. there. It was. It was, was I don't, the joust we machine was off. The, yeah, I the, thought it was off. We, we played. Time. Ten, I played in Louisville last month. It was pretty fun. We, yeah, they, they, they did have there challenger. There is a. There's one that's a competitive one. Challenger. Yeah, challenger. Challenger was up. And that's that's, that's explosive. So, Corey, ah, <laughs> hey, oh. stop, oh. Corey. Do you get do you get angrier playing the video pinball than you do actual? No, pinball? I find myself getting angry trying to beat my friend's high scores. I don't know. I, than... I only have like one friend that has it, and they don't uh, play very much. Like that so, you're on my top on everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm number one of one. So because <laughs> I'm the only. Dummy that's because I, I suck at it. I have to say, though, there's still something yeah. satisfying in having a four-player game and you walking away from three dudes and you've got five million and they never broke one. <laughs> and, yeah. and they were playing for the last five hours. Yeah. yeah. And then you the play machine. one game and you, I'm not salty. you know, it blow them out of the water <laughs> and then walk away and be like, bitch, what? Well, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can, have, I mean, you nice. can have really amazing games without being good at pinball, <laughs> Drop too, my, so. ball, my I, couple I, quarters. I, I, I feel like I get less mad at pinball because it's like, it's like okay, this is physical. Like I see why the ball drained, mm-hmm. and like playing a video game, I feel like oh, well, they cheated with numbers somehow. Pixels, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like I totally made that. 
I jumped. I jumped. Yeah, like, I totally jumped that. Like, I shouldn't have died. I mean, there but are... pinball, I'm like, okay, I know, like, I should have flipped it at that point. But Physics got me again. There yeah. are some really BS <laughs> moments in pinball. Like, we were talking about Tales of the Arabian Nights earlier. or The cage? Uh, the, yeah, like, yeah. where the cage comes up and it's supposed to trap the ball, but instead it just drains it. Uh, it'll just, like, knock the ball up over the outlands and yeah. just, like, drop down. But I, they, I had that happen with uh, Theater of Magic. Oh, yeah, it, it's constantly. Like, it catches it with, like, the, the magnets. Yeah. And it's like, hey, I caught it, but I'm going to throw it out. Yeah, yeah. Mick Jagger on the well, bowling That was a broken machine. machine. Mick that was a Jagger's broken machine. A oh, my God, no. that was so <laughs> awful. I was, I was so mad at Theater of Magic. I mean, I... I was I bought the pinball arcade and I was playing theater. I played theater magic one of the better ones on here. at the first the first time we went to pop at last August and I loved it. So I bought the pinball arcade just to play that. Spent the past you know six months playing that constantly, and I get there and that machine was just not. It, it was that machine was horrible. That was a horrible machine. That machine hey, was the devil. Hey, I'm gonna catch the ball for you, but fuck you. It's on the that it's, machine. It's out. Like you're yeah. lucky. Like. You're just lucky that the box actually works on that machine. Because, yeah, like, if you find one of those in the wild, there's one at Suzy Q's on 4th, and the box is just broken. Oh, my broken. God, that place is still open? Yeah, yeah. And it, they, they, I went there once Stabby with Q's. my friend Mike, and uh, I was like, they have a theater magic machine. And I was like, oh, and it's just jacked up. It's just too mechanical. And that and that's kind of the problem with, like, um, a lot of the later ones. Like, uh, like Twilight Zone has those problems, too. There's Doctor too many bells and whistles that... If you guys want to play the most broken yeah, ass machine definitely. you'll ever see, <laughs> high, uh, high speed at Carabar. The sound doesn't even work on it. it just goes. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Uh, no, that no that one. The X Men okay. at that, Brewster that, Brewskies. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. So the, the tilt function that... is completely off. Oh yeah, I just, so just beat that the crap around, out of man. Okay. I was like, "There's like, no tilt on this." We were like, "No, it's a free machine. It just regenerates." <laughs> but, the, but when you go, when you look at it, the uh, the level is compl- is not in the middle at all. It's all the way down, yeah. and it's just like, oh, that's yeah. You right. hit it into the magneto lock, and then it's supposed to drop the ball out of the magneto lock, and it just goes, thunk, and the ball just like bops back and yeah. gets caught again, Damn. and the machine just loses its mind for about five minutes while it does a ball search until it finally spits it out. Yeah, the Simpsons pinball party at the St. James Tavern was oh, like super oh janky. It's on like crooked Is it still janky floor, too? Oh, now? It's, oh no, it's a family guy now, but oh. that, that sucks too. <laughs> well, that yeah. building's so old. Well, the floor, and... the floor is angled and they don't do anything with the feet right. and you can't actually trap the ball on the left flipper because it just rolls into the... <laughs> Drain. I, yeah. Well, for a while though, that was my jam. Yeah. Like yeah. I was playing that. They I moved was playing it, Simpsons pinball party. Like they moved it to Bourbon Street, I believe, the forever. Simpsons. And I was like I, super happy with it. And then I loved playing it. And then uh, I went in there one day, and it like trapped the ball somewhere, and it did that whole kachunk, kachunk, yeah. kachunk, yeah. kachunk, kachunk, kachunk from like twenty different <laughs> places on the table for like ten minutes. And I was like, I guess my game's over. Uh, isn't so that the interesting <laughs> thing about pinball though? Is that like okay, I can't trap on the left flipper if i play a game with everyone else we are essentially playing oh, yeah. on hard mode right now yeah. Yeah. and and right. it's like a challenge mode you're never going to see that situation ever 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 again except in that one location with that one pinball machine mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i think that's what makes pinball special is that every single time you play in every single location that is an experience yeah. that you'll never ever ever have again <laughs> yeah you can play the same machine the same like thematic machine you can play an x men there and then you can play an x men somewhere else and both of those machines are 100% different like what? we were talking about upstairs mm-hmm. they all have have their own personality. Uh, yeah. lot, like maybe not a hundred percent. They still have flippers. They still have flippers. So, so how does Pinball Arcade decide on the platonic version? Well, they of actually that did. Machine? You see the like the mess that they got into over Twilight Zone. Mm-mm. That so the Twilight Zone they they take it's actually pretty amazing the way they do it. They actually have these machines in they house and they they take it all apart and just three like scan three it map and, it. Well, yeah. they had a they had one of the early Twilight Zones that had a different bumper. Or like a different like post. There were like two posts, mm-hmm. and it was only on the really really early machines. And there's hardly any of them like that. And so they built yeah. the the emulation based off of that. And then everybody flipped out because they thought it made the game too easy. So they like it turned into this big fiasco yeah. on their forums. Well, I for this. Yeah, and so they had to like they had to like change it because they were like, no, seriously, this is the machine we have. I'm surprised that they didn't have like playtesters that told them. Or... Uh, you know, I think they were. I think it was just. I think they just buy the machines, buy the rights. Everything's there, and then, and then they take the machine that they have, and you know maybe somebody there was really familiar with it, but yeah. the one they were really familiar with was exactly the same. Yeah. So, um, so that's that's kind of an interesting thing on how some of those work too. I think that like 
like they're trying to recreate the table that they have and the table that they have runs a very specific way. So you're that's the nice and kind of bad thing about Pinball Arcade is mm-hmm. that it's always going to play the same mm-hmm. on the same table. Yeah. Like it, it's kind of like uh, Doctor Dude, where every yeah. Doctor Dude I have ever played, the flippers have just been just <laughs> flaccid. They're horrible. Um, it's called Doctor Dude. Of course, it's flaccid. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So um, yeah. with that, pinball. the one for Don't Pinball Arcade, the flippers are actually functional. You can actually hit the uh, mix master perfectly every single time. You don't have to do it off a reaction shot, which is what you have to do with every other um, Doctor Dude I have ever played. Mm-hmm. So you know they might have one that is just perfect, which is funny. You take the organic. You t- you take you take the organic nature of the table away when you emulate it. Though. Oh sure, but at the same time. We got a Doctor Who table. We love our Doctor Who table, but how many people are going to be able to throw down the money to buy a Doctor Who table? And we want a Theater of Magic table, and they are how much? Oh, and and the upkeep on Theater of Magic is insane, uh, right? Because, exactly. uh, because that what, box breaks all the time, yep. and like, yep, 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 it's a mess. Yeah, you, so, you reminded me of one thing uh, when you watch the videos of Bowen on Papa. Mm-hmm. He, he just tells you how to play the game. They're really good videos. Um, Papa dot org, and but he'll like <laughs> just throwing that out there. Papa dot yeah, org, get on there. Pinball on YouTube. He'll yep. uh, he'll try hey, to going. he'll try to hit different bumpers and they won't react. And he's just like, well, that's pinball. You know, it's not gonna actually do it every time. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, and that's okay. kind of the fun thing too is like you will have situations where things just magically happen and screw you, <laughs> and like it, it's not gonna happen on or magically happen in yeah yeah and yeah. something awesome happens like I, that shouldn't have happened. But I mean that's the nice random nature of pinball and like. Like, with the emulations, yeah, you don't get that as much. Sometimes a camera gets stuck or something like that. But it's a really good way to learn. I would say that my ball control got a lot better from playing That's what on she Pinball said. Arcade. Hey, oh, I was amazed. I have a new um, girlfriend, so. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Chris, do you remember when we played Gorgar and the ball got so stuck that you actually had to reset? Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't get the ball out. So I thought that was amazing emulation, like, that it was down to that level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I mean, it's. It's it's really cool to be able to play those machines though on the go and like like I I love like I said I love Twilight Zone that's all I want to play and and I was just so happy that was on there or they're they're actually their best emulation from what I understand is their emulation of uh, the next generation which oh, is the the, which the is a fun table well, yeah it's the meanest goddamn machine ever made but I like it's a really good emulation of like how difficult it is so. I uh I don't know I I advocate for it though pretty heavily because I think that they're doing something important which also is preserving these machines that eventually will die. Right. Well, well, some, oh, go we're ahead. gonna we're I mean like I I worry for the chance of like Doctor Who. It's the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who this year. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge Who fan. Having the Who table is wonderful, but are we gonna see any more like it? I mean, is that going to happen anymore? Are there going to be legal fights? You mean on digital or just in general? Is it not going to make its way to digital because it's owned by the BBC, but it's classic Who, so it's not really owned by the BBC. Well, the thing is, they'll they'll, they'll, they'll kickstart it. Doctor Who is is owned by multiple people. Well, that's the thing Uh, with like Star Trek. Not only did they have to get the licensing for the Star Trek name, they had to get the licensing for every actor's voice that's in that table. How old is that table? Um, 90s is around the same time as Twilight Zone. It was one of the... um, 93, 94. Yeah, yeah. It's... But that's the thing. That's what they ran into with um, Twilight Zone 2 was getting the licensing for Rod Serling's voice. So there's a lot that goes into that. I think Adam's family has all the... TNG? Yeah, does Mm -hmm. TNG say shut up, Wesley? Because that'll be the next one I buy. No. (laughs) It does say thank you, Mr. Data. Uh, He'll say... If you you hit the ball at a different trajectory, and you can hit the flippers, and it'll interrupt him. But, uh, yeah. (laughs) But the thing about... Okay. Unless they just don't want to do it at all, there will be a price, and then there could be a Kickstarter... Mm-hmm. And the interest, I think, would be high enough. So yeah. Chris well, Hardwick tweets about it; it instantly passes. <laughs> well, and I will say this too, in, in just as a um, just a personal like venting frustration thing, it drives me nuts how when you're trying to get the the licensing rights to release something legally, nobody can track down who owns what. As soon as you start pirating it, <laughs> the rights come up immediately. Like, oh, hey, now I know exactly who has it. Cause they yeah, can throw a lawsuit yeah, yeah. in. You so know, what you're saying is we need to weeks. pirate the shit out of the Doctor Who table uh, Wasn't somehow. It on well, and that's emulator? yeah, the virtual pinball exists as the emulator, and you can probably play it on there. I'm assuming it's on there. Which so. one? Yeah, no, no, there's uh, Doctor Who. Yeah, there's oh, Doctor yeah. Who on pin oh, yeah. name. 
there when uh, Chris and I went to the the Louisville show, not this past year, but the year before, and they had a full like pen main table. It had the um, the the two screens, the four by three screen in the back, the the sixteen nine like table, and then the the real dot matrix display that was emulated, and it had just tons of tables on it. It was really cool, um, but that it was just Milwaukee, didn't. Not, not Louisville. Was it Milwaukee? Oh, you're right. It was Milwaukee. Yeah, it, they've got the full version of that one, and they also have a smaller one. I think for like two and a half to three grand, which is about half size and does not come with legs, so it's like yeah. tabletop. They had one of those at uh, Korg's last year. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. They probably have one in May too. Yeah. They had a great Masters of the like, Universe. What Arcade Legacy has? <laughs> yeah, Arcade Legacy's got one actually to play now too. They, oh, they, really? They have like an. There's only like six tables on it, so I think that they actually got bought licenses for it or something. Well, like technically, that. you're supposed to have the more semi efficient since they actually yeah. make a profit on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was wondering about the about the legality of that since it's it's like you know completely rebuilt from a coding perspective, but it's emulating a physical experience. I would say it's similar to like how emulators work. You're supposed to to technically legally be able to play it. You're supposed to own it. Um, and this is like your backup of it. Um, the, the problem I had with playing that table um, was that since the all of the screens are HD, like my depth perception was way off. Like I couldn't. It, it yeah. seemed like it should look weird because it was farther away, but it was in HD, so it looked perfectly in focus. Honestly, and yeah, it I was having a really better, hard time honestly. with with like telling where the ball was because everything was in such sharp focus. Well, and it's flat. And it's flat. Yeah. And and it just and when you have especially when you have a game with multiple layers, uh I was just I I was just ah! it's really and I good, had to stop playing be it. Yeah. <laughs> well, another thing with the licensing like the the best legal way I can think of that happening is that Pinball Arcade just got greenlit on Steam. So they're going to be releasing a PC version of it. So you could build a virtual pinball machine running those. And so long as you're not charging people money for it, it would be completely legit to play all of those on there, like on a on a virtual pinball machine, just running Pinball Arcade. So let's let's kind of get back on track. Uh, what, let's let's talk about what we play. Um, Sorry, play Dad. Really yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the host. Um. Are we there yet? <laughs> How much longer? <laughs> Uh, let's talk about a table Ow, that quit it. You, Ow, yeah. quit it. Ow, quit it. Let's talk about cherry it. pie. Yeah. I like pie. What was, what was the... <laughs> what, what's like the one cream. game that you played that you were surprised at if you hadn't played before at Papa this time? Uh, CSI was the big surprise for me. So I hadn't played it before, yeah. and I was really surprised how good it was. Especially since it was a Stern, and I generally hate the newer Stern machines. So. Yeah, especially if you look at the layout of that table, it's like, ah, this doesn't look tremendously fun. It's like a normal Stern. The entire main play field is totally open... And there's a couple toys, and there's an orbit, and there's not even, like, any big ramps. There's, like, one ramp in the game. Mm -hmm. Why would this be fun? And then you play it, and then you realize, no, this actually flows decently well. Um, It's pretty fun, even considering the theme. Yep. I like to point out to me, Steve pointed out to me, uh, NBA Hang Time. Oh, Uh, man, that game is so fun. Hang Time. Wait, wait, Fast Break. Fast Fast Break. break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was was the one after NBA Jam, but they had the NBA Jam announcer in it. Yeah. Which is great touch, and... You only Brilliant. score by two Brilliant point game. baskets, and <laughs> yeah. I mean, just was, to clarify, that crappy '90s NBA players is great. Yeah, what, what fun! Oh, and we didn't really hear the sound effects, but it sounds like a basketball game. It's got the horn, right? Yeah. Like, it's got the squeaky feet and stuff, squeaky sneakers. And stuff, yeah, so, the fact yeah. that you can pass the ball between four different spots and then shoot the hoop, and you have to like dodge figure, a blocker. Do you have to press the shoot button to even shoot it at the center? I think you do. Yeah, I think yeah, you have to that's... do something to shoot the ball, actually. Yeah, like but, blocker, like, the like... flippers will move it left and right. Um, not to be confused with the NBA game. The new but, Stern one. By Stern, yeah. That one is... Eh. Uh-huh. Yeah. There was a lot of basketball-themed ones. I didn't know there was mm-hmm. that many. But Fast Break is the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any others? I think, I think my biggest surprise was uh, the Guns N' Roses machine. Oh, I'm not a Guns N' Roses fan. I hated but, that Oh, one. man. I love that machine. I'm back and forth Did on you? that one. I really hated the Guns N' Roses machine. I don't know if I just had a bad game or what, but I was not a fan. I went, I went so back we to that one axle, over and over thin again. Axle come, uh. <laughs> yeah, we need a new Chinese democracy theme. Uh, <laughs> you know, Corey, they've been making that one for about 20 years. Yeah, it's, it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever <laughs> machines coming out. <laughs> the ACDC machine, I think I had a lot of fun with that one because that, you don't see the hidden like 
underground pinball. Oh, the LE that one was is beautiful. Sexy, the reg- yeah. the regular edition of that is kind of garbage, but yeah. the LE is just gorgeous. The different colored LEDs for the rollovers, like it mm-hmm. changes color. Well, and, oh. and, and it depends on what mode you're playing too. It changes the LEDs. So, like, depending on which song you pick at wow. the beginning. Yeah, and yeah. then the the whole you get to pick the song and mm-hmm. you, you hit that bell. It songs. like flips like for yeah, a full minute. Fantastic. And the yeah. cannon. The There's cannon. a cannon for those mm-hmm. about to rock. <laughs> yep. Um. Uh, big guns. Yeah, big guns. Big guns. It has cannons on the side. Oh, so when yeah, you lock yeah, yeah. the balls, you lock them in the cannons, they shoot out of the cannons into ramps. Wow. And there's two of them, and it's adorable. And then you go up, and there's, like, a, a an interactive thing up at the top that, like, it drops things down, and you have to, like, plinko up at the... Eh, it's great. <laughs> I don't know. Yay. But were there hamsters in it? <laughs> Flying hamsters. <laughs> Hamtaro themed pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, we never talked about our serious fantasy pinball machines. I really think there needs to be an Evangelion pinball machine. Oh my god! So wait, you amazing. get toward like the wizard mode, and then it just shuts down. There are kills no- every <laughs> single ball. It's like ball one. Uh uh-uh. No, we're gonna kill all of them. Is there one single anime pinball machine? Like, I haven't, you know? I haven't seen any, but I'm sure. Yeah, they're all pachinko. Machines. Yeah, as I say, it's all pachinko. It's all pachinko these days. Believe it. Like a <laughs> po- ninja, ninja, ninja. I mean, there's, there's like Pokemon pinball on Game Boy, and yeah, those are so. actually good. Yeah, those are those don't suck. Because we already mentioned Nerdist, I I will put out the request for Chris Hardwick's Celebrity All Star Pinball. <laughs> I would play that. Oh wow, and have like voice. Um, enjoy your taco. Yeah, or a burrito. burrito. Enjoy burrito. your burrito. Yes. Well, but like have voices of the 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 podcast. Would they like come up? Oh, yeah, Chris Hardwick would come up, he would be a target, and then he would also taunt you and say, like, my dad was a professional um, pinball player, and everyone else would laugh at you. <laughs> Can, uh, what's-his-face come up and talk about Bing, and then you have to hit him in the head with the ball sometimes? Yeah. That's the easy mode to get, because it has the biggest payoff. Everyone wants to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess my fantasy pinball would probably be a better version of a fr- Nightmare on Elm Street pinball because that one sucks. They did a Nightmare want on Elm that Street. That to be so it, good. It was there. It's a Gottlieb machine, and it, it was down this time though. They no, had it, it back, up, back at up at the end. Yeah, yeah they yeah. moved it, and it. It's one of those things you're like, this looks cool, and then you play it, and you're like, this kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it, Gottlieb slash LJN. Uh, oh, I don't good. know was LGM. Oh. <laughs> was that Can a I joke? have a color purple yeah, pinball Nintendo machine? Games. Color purple. Ooh, To Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Great Gatsby's in Alabama. Get Oprah to be like, I told you. <laughs> so choice. Pinball. I want to see some Tyler Perry awesome. pinball machines if you we're talking about Sassy Harpo Black on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Medea's Pinball Adventure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just get all of the? Uh, How about Medea, the ancient uh, Greek tragedy pinball? Uh, <laughs> get all the comics and drag and all in one machine. So you got like uh, big Robert mama, William, big mama's big house. house. Oh yeah, yeah. You Mrs. Martin, Doubtfire, Juana Man, Juana Man, and mm-hmm. Tootsie. Actually, <laughs> oh yeah, white chicks. Yeah, white chicks. White chicks, the pinball <laughs> machine. All of these ideas are better than Metallica pinball. I'm just <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you on that one. Uh, Learn, uh, listen, you know, please. It all. Just hire all of us. It'll I mean, be fine. But they're making this. Okay, no, I, I was going to say they're making it for, like, bars, but no, they're not. They're making it for people to buy. Like, they are, sold, yeah. The, the limited edition, the premium, whatever, sold out the first day. Because I can mm-hmm. see, like, the Cabela's pinball. Like, that's for, like, bars. Walmart. Down Every there, Walmart know, will have for, one. Not for our crowd, but you can see why they make it to make money. But Big Buck Hunter's actually That's actually fun. kind of a fun machine, Cabela's? though. Like, yeah. yeah, it's good. It's Like, yeah. the, the yeah. buck that's, like, a kick Fuck you! you. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like which a Jurassic Dura- Park yeah, raptor. Jurassic Park has that raptor. Which, that is so mean. Yep. It's like, oh, I hit the raptor. Oh, my God, what's happening? <laughs> you know, in all honesty, why isn't there a Rocky Horror Picture Show pinball machine? Thank that you! That would be amazing. I would play that. The, th- the thing is, there's just not enough made every show. year. That's why they never got this... They kind of got stuck into doing like just kind of manly, well, bar yeah, style machines. And, and right and now they can stuff. they can go ahead and market those if if you do it to a if you do the a band, you're going to have diehard fans of the band. So right. those diehard fans of the band will acquire it's it's if there's a queen one. I don't need both of my kidneys. I, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm interested to see how well Wizard of Oz does. Cause it, yeah, I hope it does well. It looks beautiful. I, I, I haven't gotten to play already. it. so well, It hasn't even come out yet. I don't. But like pre, pre- There order. are beta machines out yeah, and we, about. Ted and I played in Louisville. and it, We talked about the Louisville show. I don't think we've posted that yet at this, as of recording this. But we'll get to it at some point. But it's weird because it's 
like single digit scoring. Like we got games in mm-hmm. the just the thousands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they got this big LED screen on the back glass, but it just is like divided into four and just shows you all the different things you're doing at the same time. Mm-hmm. So they're and not really taking advantage of having the big screen. It's more just like four little screens. And well, the LCD yeah. screen, but really it's a feels... good backbone for other machines later because mm-hmm. they have the Hobbit coming out now. And... Yeah. What? And the LCD yeah, they're doing screen, a Hobbit machine. The LCD screen feels like it's an awkward flash ad. It really doesn't. Yeah, it, it's, it's like one of those fluid. shitty bar top machines. I mean, it's got. It, it looks well, like those style of graphics. I don't think is, you can really get better than that. And it's sad because uh, the the playfield is gorgeous. Right. I mean, the playfield looks like they're you know they really got, experienced. And then the the LCD screen in the back just looks. I wonder out if of they place. didn't know what they were getting into by getting such a big screen. Maybe that's a hard thing to. Yeah. And bear in to, mind, to this make. is the first time they're first really try. doing this. Yeah. Like right. the, the base table. You know that's been done all over the place. Everyone knows how to build flow yeah. and and get the toys right, but doing a, a back glass with just a full screen is is really new. So I'm hoping the Hobbit looks better. I really want Jersey Jack to do well with this table, just oh, because I want Stern needs competition. Exactly mm-hmm. because yeah. Stern's just like, oh, let's take this principle from this game. Like um, the Avengers is like, hey, look, it's uh, um, Tales from the Arabian Nights, but we just. I mean, when, video games are best when it was Sega versus Nintendo. Oh, yeah, entirely. Avengers is so Wrestling obvious. Wrestling was like, best when it was WCW, WWF at the same time. I mean, whenever there's good, stiff competition, we get good <laughs> results. Yeah. That would be assuming wrestling was good ever. So <laughs> It was. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll talk about a table. Uh, we played Whitewater uh, a few times. Today. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. And never played it before. I, I know people really With like it. With the Yeti but... that goes, Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we played... It, it just looks so inviting. It has that like that whitewater yeah. uh, waterfall or whatever on the left hand side. We played just to get that, and so that was very satisfying. I really you did whirlwind too. too with the fan. Yeah, the oh, that that fan is fantastic. They put in a mm-hmm. stronger fan. I heard in at Papa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> pretty and, awesome. And there's a level of fermage that those tables have, where it's like. You're That's not cheap, getting sucked in. Way. You're not getting sucked in for, <laughs> for you non fancies out there. <laughs> for, you know, for for the the you're not getting. Uh, you know, like we have to use the music of this. Well, except for Kiss Pinball, but um, like you go ahead and you you have like we have to use this in here. The Guns and Roses has to have Guns and Roses music mm-hmm. in it. You can't like focus on just the game. And so when you have like Whitewater or you have like Big Guns, you have something that you're not just focusing on the game. Oh, uh, the Black Knight 2000 that Chris has, gorgeous, and it has neat music Flash with Gordon it. Music. It's Flash yeah. Gordon music. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> but, wait, but, uh, really? Flash like, Gordon style no, not, music. Not really what, Flash Gordon, but Flash Gordon that style. That came out 89, I want to say. Okay. Really? That, okay. that early? Oh. Yeah. yeah. She's just thinking like the oh, okay. Flash. Uh, okay. Like that yeah. style. He man. Yeah. That's that's also <laughs> sorry. Sorry, we mentioned Flash Gordon. That's also Queen though. For a second. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's Queen. <laughs> still, He'll save every one of us. <laughs> one, one of every other, man, every woman, every child, every body. Yeah. Flash. One of my other fantasy <laughs> tables is a big red machine pinball. Old old 70s Reds baseball, but you know that's pretty specific. It'll never happen. Yeah, that's only for you, buddy. <laughs> well, dreams, dude. You and the other Reds fan. Yeah. He will sell every video game <laughs> so to buy that seen table. So anything yeah. sweet Mel Brooks-wise? I mean... Oh, my God. Blazing Saddles pinball. Blazing Saddles mm-hmm. or, or Young Space Frankenstein? Balls pinball. That would be awesome. I, mean, I know that's. Not I want to see a giant comb. comb. Made me think of it. Nice. Comb the desert. <laughs> you have an we, afro pick that comes down. We and ain't like, found. Catches your ball. Like speaking of things that nerds just love for no good reason, I'm kind of surprised there's not a Monty Python pinball. Yeah, really. Like, like, like well, no, especially once the whole Spamalot phenomenon came around. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, there's a Spamalot table. Yeah. It, well, and like it, that would be so wonderful because like you get taunted a second time, and mm-hmm. there's all those great audio clips. Well, there already is the uh, Medieval Madness. Yeah, medieval, medieval Madness, madness is very similar. Okay. Like, okay. I, that's so for, this was the first time I played Medieval Madness, and it was. Now, do you want it? Okay, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, it was, and it was awesome. And it was it was neato. It was Medieval it Madness was, is great. It was chaotic though, because it seemed like there was 000. so much going Once on. Once you know what's going on, that's the thing. That's the great thing about playing like pinball arcade though is like you get to learn those know, modes, yeah. and you're like, oh, there's really only four things to do in this table. It just looks like there's a thousand things to do well, in this okay, table. So. so Doctor Who. We got our Doctor Who table, and um, Show he, off. he has shot. Um, he's found multiple audio clips, and 
Sylvester McCoy does the actual audio for it. Sylvester McCoy was the seventh doctor. Um, and he's Radagast. He's Radagast and, and the Hobbit. He's, he was, he was, he was the one I grew up on. So, I mm -hmm. mean, really like everybody remembers the first doctor and having him do the, the voice for it. It's amazing. There's the video mode. So he keeps unlocking cool stuff. It's really great when you play a table that you've played before and you do something you haven't done before and then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, cool, I unlock something that I've never seen or never heard. Dr. Moo. I know! <laughs> and that's random, too. Uh, Dr. Moo isn't, well, it's... it's should be the... a Dr. Dude mode in Dr. Who. No, it's, it's not random. You have to... It's there's a specific level where you have to get the transmat where you don't have enough transmat power and then you hit the transmat button. Oh, and then gotcha. it's it's like if you're between 80 and 100... Between 80 and 90 or something like that. Okay. So you have to get, like... You try yeah. to transmit in the doctor, and then it doesn't transmit in. And then there's a picture of a cow doctor wearing the scarf and <laughs> Tom, Baker's Tom Baker's hat, yep. and and it goes moo. Yep, Doctor Moo, uh, and yep. it's wonderful. Well, and there's a cow mode in um, uh, Attack, Attack from, from Mars. Mars. See, yeah, I'm I'm okay with tongue and cheek South stuff Park. like that, like mm -hmm. like little Easter eggs and stuff like that. Awesome, like. It's so cool having that, and it's nice. It's nice seeing that the that pinball doesn't have to take itself so, so seriously. So like Stern right now, I it's nice that Stern exists, and it's nice that they're they're still making pin tables. But it would be nice if they had a competitor, somebody that doesn't take themselves as seriously, that they mm -hmm. can just go ahead and make a fun table. And maybe yeah. just a little bit of soul in the table. Like if you play the old Williams machines or the old Valley machines, like whenever you play them, it feels like there's some soul to it. Not to get really hippy dippy with it, but like there's flow to it. There's you can tell that there was a lot of love put into the machine. But whenever you play a stern table, it feels light. It feels kind of flimsy. It doesn't feel like a whole lot of love went into it. It's just like, yeah, here's some ramps and a pin. Go. You can see I, all the interchangeable parts they use too. Right. They take you know the the light, the the arrow, and the. I mean, yeah. Well, just, I mean, like, I mean, for in in their defense, though, it's like they are the only pinball manufacturer, but that doesn't mean that they're rolling in cash. You know what I mean? To be able to experiment like they used to be able to. And I got to say, too, yeah, that X-Men, X-Men feels like it has a lot of soul in it. Yeah. Although I, I will say that that X-Men machine is considered the worst modern Stern table in existence. Right is it now. really? Yep. Is I love that machine. Mm -hmm. That that feels much better than the World Poker Tour. To me, it feels better than the, um, the it, ACDC. It feels better, but I guess the software is totally fucked. Yeah, oh, really? like, when like, they update that stuff. Yeah, they update it via USB, and they apparently still haven't gotten it right. Like a lot of like hardcore pinball fans are like, "This is garbage." Like, what do you mean? What is, will it? Will it? It'll just. There are just you? problems with the modes. Um, there are problems with like certain shots and like how the modes are started. And then I guess like they updated it and made it worse. And then, like, updated it again and made it slightly better. But there are problems with, like... So, you know, like, a lot of these newer machines are about completion of the different modes. So you'll have, like, Cyclops mode and then, you know, Beast mode. Well, the problem is those modes continually restart as you go through them, which you think is okay. Like, if you play, like, Monster Bash, it does that. But the problem is there are shots that require a shot through one of the other loops that starts another mode that then you have to hit off of, like, another side ramp to start, start say, uh, Storm or something like that. You have to shoot the Beast Loop to hit Storm. They're emulating shitty comic book continuity, like, in real life. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're emulating a, a horrible crossover. Right. An extra ball is but, essentially a retcon. Yeah. But, yeah, the problem is, See? like, you'll hit, like, you'll try to hit, like, Rogue and start Rogue, and to do that you have to shoot the Beast ramp, and Rogue is a harder shot. So then you'll start Beast for a second time and be, like, partway through completion of Rogue, and then you have to wait another 30 seconds to a minute for the Beast uh, to finish. And so, like... Grammar ruins everything. Yeah, I know, right? And him and his... Oh, Tossed out and scrambled eggs. I know. What a dick. And have you seen that video so, where he falls off the stage? Kelsey Grammer? It's no. Awesome. Okay. So, so <laughs> did, did anybody play any, like, classic, classic tables? Like, uh, pre-LCDs and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Try to play a few of those every time. Yeah, there was the... What was the one that we oh, played? Oh, it was like Derby Race or something like yeah, that. that was, oh, man, that, that was, was great. Oh, that, that was the horsies. Yeah. yeah. That was Neato Bandito. Like, you'd hit... So you'd hit different targets, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, it would... The targets would pertain to a number, and that number would move that horse. So right. you'd hit, like, two, and two would move. And then and you'd hit... So, you know, you could bet on a horse, but, yeah, there's no way, because you just... Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a switch. I think it was between the bumpers. Whenever you hit that bumper, it said, like... 
horses one, three, and five are your horse, and yeah. then you hit the other one, it was like two, four, and six were your yeah. horse. Hmm. So you're trying to on aim how, for certain ones. Then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So right, you it? have to like do a lot of uh, flipper control to make sure that you're not hitting those bumpers and actually hitting the target that you and need. And it was a it was a two player only. Yeah, right? like they there was I mean there was one player or two player. There yeah. wasn't three or four. Yeah, I mean four player. Uh, electromechanicals came out like toward the tail end of that era. So when they first started, you know, doing electromechanical tables, it was just one player, and then they yeah. figured out like, oh, we can do two players, and that like doubled the amount of wires that you had to put in there. But my God, you're doubling your profits! Fantastic. Yeah. And then they figured out, well, we can do a little bit of something, something, and and make a four player model, and that happened, uh, and then that just kind of stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that that was a lot of fun. And um, another one that was neat, uh, the wide body ones are fun. And Embryon mm-hmm. is pretty, but it, all of the artwork is gross. Embryon, it's, I like Embryon. Embry- yeah, I like oh, the big I, vagina in the middle. Of I it thought, yeah, I thought the plane was yeah. just disturbing. Those the the balls that go up in the mm-hmm. yeah the ovaries. Yeah, that yeah. was that was yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Embryon's that. weird. Did you play I, Xenon? Xenon. I didn't. Xenon. Yeah, yeah it, pretty cool. it's frightening. I didn't play that one. That has the weird alien sexy chick on it. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's like whenever you hit the bumper, it's either some girl getting off or some guy getting off. Oh, my God. It's uh, really weird. Have you seen the video of the girl that recorded all the voice work for that and did all the music? It's pr- it's pretty amazing. There's like a video that Papa linked on their blog a long t- hmm. maybe six months ago or something of like the – it was like a video from when they made that that machine of the girl doing all the voice work for Xenon. And it was kind of interesting like – Doing all these what, crazy stuff. To... No, she was pretty young. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was... Corey, are you, you? I think you've said you're a centaur fan. I played that. Mm. I wasn't. That machine is awesome. You shut your mouth. Oh no, no. <laughs> I mean, I just did one game of it, and I, it takes the, a few games to appreciate. Black and white to me. It's hard to see. It's it, so I think. goddamn mean. Uh-huh. It is. It is like the meanest machine. Like I swear to God, the first like five or six games we played of it. It just dropped the ball straight down the middle for all three balls for <laughs> well, all of us. And it was so mean that we thought that it said Dr. B.S. Yeah, instead, instead of orbs. orbs. <laughs> yeah, we thought the we thought the drop target said Dr. B.S. We were like, oh, it's fitting. We, like, for, <laughs> no, what draws <laughs> for like an hour of playing that game, we are like, fucking Dr. B.S. It was yeah. like, oh, it says orbs. <laughs> yeah. orbs. But just the because- best thing about that machine, other than it actually has a really interesting play field once you get into it, but... But one of the things that's the coolest about it is the artwork is metal as fuck, mm-hmm. and it is awesome. That is the yeah. most metal yeah. thing uh, ever. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, and it's that's what I was like. We're gonna play fucking centaur. Look at this shit. This like, I mean, I, he's I, a centaur in the fact that he's a motorcycle. He's, yeah, he's, he's a part motor- man, part motorcycle, holding a battle with, like, axe. Like, yeah, with a battle axe and, and some hot, hot chick and leather yeah. riding on his back. And the yeah. it's one of those awesome, super busy. Like the entire play field is not giving you any information other than artwork. You know what I mean? And then the lights actually have the words on them, but it's like a piece of art. You know, like, <laughs> it, like it's like H.R. Geiger decided to go fucking nuts on a... Did, did you play Space Invaders? Yeah, Space Invaders is mean as shit. Well, yeah. and, and crazy, because it's like the cute arcade, like... Based on Space Invaders, and it looks like fucking Alien. And then it yeah. looks yeah. like Alien! Yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. looks like Like a lot of things of that era. It yeah, looks like that alien. game is terrifying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got on the bumpers, does it have like the little pixels or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, lights. On the lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we're talking about evil machines, that Spy Hunter we played. That oh, was the Spy Hunter's worst brutal. machine ever. <laughs> I think it's actually like, terrible too. Like not just brutal. It's just like a stupid game. Like why? There's a reason. Like you don't put the bumpers like off center. I mean, I don't what, know why, but nobody has. What so. is that crazy four player one that has the crazy? Uh, it's got the so. When you launch it, it actually locks the balls. You start off on like a multi ball, and instead of the the table being angled, it actually goes deep down in, and it's like a uh, what do I want to say black hole. No, 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 no. no. It, it I'll have to find it. It's it, Chris would remember what it was because it was right next to Centaur at Papa. Okay. But but it actually instead of being at an angle and being a flat play field, it's actually a multi level spiral down like a waterfall sort of thing. What? You take it. Um, and it's awesome. It's it's See, insane and not great, but it's just kind of awesome. Like as a, like a different way to build a pinball machine. They decided to build it deep instead of slanted, and uh-huh. it was really interesting. I can't have, remember what it was. Have yeah. you played Safe Cracker? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I thought that was interesting. The interesting, like the, the mm-hmm. fact that you play um time limit rather than number of balls. Yeah, yeah. Safe Cracker is cool. 
Um, then, I really like um, like the Joust versus that we played in Louisville. Mm-hmm. What's, what's the one that, that, that you play? It's like you're playing on the surface of the moon. The pinball. Oh, Orbiter. Yeah, that or, one. Orbiter one is awesome. It's it got was like broken while we were magnetic there, but... spinning bumpers that grab your ball and spin it. Out. Oh well, yeah. and it'll it'll take the like the ball will drop down below where it would like normally and drain, and around. you have to use your fl- hit your flipper up, and it'll go up and around because the entire play field is like crazy magnets yeah. and stuff. It's nuts. It's a weird so. game. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you can play forever on that. I found. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it just like you're like I'm draining. Nope, I'm not. It's just looping around, going yeah. somewhere else. So I uh, so I played it again, and I, if I if I can ever find it, I'll buy it. Um, Spanish Eyes. Which is An old game. like yeah. seventy two, I think. Oh, okay. Um, but so flippers, and in the center is a bumper, and the bumper gives you score, but it actually will ricochet the ball. And more than once, it started going down the, you know, it started draining, hit the bumper, and bump back up, which was <laughs> great. So it's like yeah. bump, and then or it would like be 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 be, and like hey, score. Yeah. Yay. After drain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was cute, and like I liked the artwork on it. It was nice. Yeah, the color. artwork on that one is is gorgeous. <sighs> That reminds me one thing about the Snow. we played the Indiana Jones the hell out of the Indiana Jones table mm. and that had the uh, the stern one yeah, yeah it has a peg in between the I don't know what you call that the peg underneath the uh, flippers the actual yeah. pin yeah it's just a, a pin yeah that's, I think it's just that's a, where the pin from pinball came from yeah it's like a just p- like a pachinko you, pin. you don't yeah. see that in in too many modern tables or any You'll stern see, tables. it's on Spider Man the uh-huh. stern Spider Man has it it's it's a a tactical placement of like something for like how they want to build a machine sometimes they'll put that peg there uh-huh. um so yeah Spider Man has it. But it, it's it so kinda, satisfying to save your ball with that. I yeah, but so. you have to not. You have to know when to flip and when not to flip if you're going to use it. Because if you if it's going to bounce back up and you put your flippers it bounces up, into your flipper. it, it'll just mm-hmm. bounce yeah. off of your flipper and go in. So you have to know whether it's going to bounce out, and it's a different. And there's lots of times too where I thought that uh, I shouldn't flip. They would hit it, and it would just hit and just go to the side and just knock like right down mm-hmm. the bottom. I mean, it's yeah. I dig that that stern. That Stern uh, Indiana Jones is one of the best Sterns I've ever played, though. I, like Absolutely. just the barfing just, arc. Yeah, the barfing arc is just the best thing. <laughs> you want eight ball multi ball? Just ma- and anybody can get it. Just mash it up in there every time, yeah. and then it just it, it's just, it's like a garbage pail kit or something. It just and I just I didn't even care wonderful. about getting that multi ball. I just really liked the when you. Hit your ball up to the arc, and it was just like wow, 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 wow. Yep. and it that's would just kind of like wobble. Mm. For but a I, I think that's a good one for for just anybody. Like you're saying, it's the goals are easy to understand. It's just the movies, but you know we were enjoying it. So, well, yeah. and and the fact that it was it was wonderfully faithful to Indiana Jones. They had the stones of Shankar in there. They mm-hmm. had the arc, the potatoes, the potatoes. Unfortunately, the, the crystal the potato- skull. They had the, 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 the baguettes. Yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> Did they did they have the nuclear proof refrigerator? Oh, oh Nam Shiva, <laughs> nuke in the so. fridge. Um, Nam Shiva. Oh my gosh, it was lovely. Like it was a it, and the the they did really well with the screen on that because mm-hmm. it was still the Doc Matrix screen. Yeah, um, but it wasn't you know like the little stick people. It was they're like, doing some oh. really fun stuff with those DMDs. I think it looks good on. Um, they've got some oh, good like stuff on red. that and on Tron. What's I like that? the new red screens? Well, they they just released some really cool like add ons for the. Um, for the DMDs for Tron and a couple of the other machines, it's like blue pixels that are really cool looking, especially I've, for I've Tron. I've seen some hack machines that have multicolor versions. Yeah, of they it. have one at Papa. They have the uh, Attack from Mars one that's like multicolor. Do, so, do, do we like that or was it? I think it's cool. I think yeah. it's. Or is it just where it's like just just put a freaking real screen on there? Yeah, it's I'm all right with it. I mean, yeah. you know, we got to talk about Tetan's cool. score on Indiana well, Jones. Well, Becky. And and how how busy do you need the the, the machine to be? I'm hardly ever looking the... up there unless yeah. I've got the ball trapped and I'm trying to figure out how many yeah. shots I need. For and, something, unless so. he's got video mode going on Doctor Who or Celeste McCoy saying something new, mm-hmm. like in the corner pocket. Corey, like, did did like you that. see the one machine at Papa that was an Adams Family machine that in the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ one time? Do not take that man to Papa and let him drink, or you will get to hear about the Mars attacks alien or the it attack was, from it, Mars the, alien attack in, from Mars alien that in, was in the, in the, electric, uh, chair, the electric chair of like Adam's forty-seven family. times in one day. <laughs> did you see that? Wait, what was it again? In, in the Adams family machine, they took a. You see a rather large gentleman walking around Papa while you're there drinking Gatorade. It's not Gatorade. It's tequila. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my secret. Stay away. It is tequila. It is margaritas. Do not tell my secret about yeah. margaritas. What man. plants crave? 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You you kept coming up to me like it was the newest, most amazing revelation ever that they had it was, ta- it was pretty funny. It made me laugh a lot. Yeah, apparently. So how was it trying to flip out of the bathroom over the railing? It didn't go so well. <laughs> I want to do that so bad, man. Jump over and so right. yes. You I could tried, have to go to the other side. I tried that oh. when I was drunk and I fell. The end. Yeah. Okay. Some lady was like, Are you okay? I was like, I'm okay, but my pride is bad. So, so <laughs> nice. yeah, the, their bathrooms remind me. Of, like, was did that used to be like a it was skating a rink, bowling alley, or skating rink? Yeah, it has, the, it has the lockers, the lockers in the lockers. there. Like, that's totally. You know what? That makes sense. Rink. Yeah, yeah. And then it's big and the enough. color, the purple and gold. Yeah, the, yeah. the and yeah. I just yeah. No. Like in high school, purple and gold. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So I got new tokens again this year too. Did you? I did. So um, I got the the pirate ship. And then the tilt. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Um, I collect the tokens. Uh, so Papa does unique tokens. They're so nice. They're they're groovy. So you you go ahead and pay real money and you get Papa tokens. But they're like you know quarter sized and they have different things on them and they're very cool looking. And if you go to Papa, you may want to keep some extra. I would money describe those tokens as hipster. Looking okay. hipster, yeah. hipster looking. Oh, oh, shit, I collect them too. I don't than think hipsters. so. They look like a craft fair. Hipsters kinda, like. don't like hamsters with laser tokens. guns. Well, no, I'm not necessarily insulting that. I just think they have that kind of look to me. Look, okay. if they were hipster tokens, they would be brass like the old Aladdin's castle ones. That's what I was thinking. They're too shiny. Yeah, hipsters I, aren't shiny. But I miss Aladdin's castle. I still have I two Aladdin's tokens castle, from Dinosaur like, Kitty Land and Valeria. Oh yeah, it was I remember my like dad taking me <laughs> to great. Aladdin's castle and then Chi Chi for dinner. If it was hipsters, Chi and birds, next more birds. To each other. And cassette tapes for some reason. There would yeah. be cassette yeah, tapes. Yeah, we'll have to them. compare tokens because we saved a bunch of them. Oh. So. It's not a lot if of they ironic. were hipster, each token would come with a little white belt on it and, <laughs> and a pair of aviator sunglasses. <laughs> They're, they're the unexpected. I think they're, I think they're really nice. Actually. Skinny jeans. I don't. I don't understand. I like them and they're pretty and I collect them. So yeah, well, that's because you're a fucking hipster. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> look at this fucking hipster. You you like the tokens before they were cool, so I understand. <laughs> I, I like tokens back when they were individual fifty state quarters. <laughs> So Chris and I played uh, episode one pinball. It kind of oh the 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 dirty here that right there. I mean they okay they. I hated watching. They made all this technology, but all it is is you just hit the center, the same the center constantly. There's there's three ramps in that, and again it looks like a crappy bar top tabletop. That's the one with the big video screen in the back. Yeah, and also Revenge for Mars. It's a cool concept, but they didn't do enough with it. I think it Did is. Did you play the other ones, it's... though? Uh, <laughs> Revenge for Mars. Revenge for Mars. No. And what's Revenge for Mars is actually kind of fun. I should have. Mm-hmm. I should was have. the third was one? Fun. Was there a third one? No, it was, it, was, it was Revenge for Mars and then episode one and combined with pinball dying from Williams right. and the... That was their last de- gasp best effort. That was, that was literally... There's actually a documentary called uh, Tilt, Tilt, The Battle to Save Pinball, and it's about Pinball 2000 and how it... That the mixture of episode one being so shitty, mm. and that and being the license it for that two K, I probably would have survived. Right, two K pinball two two thousand is so nineteen eighty nine. Two K twelve. It, it <laughs> tanked hard, and like everybody that worked there basically came in, and they were like, "Yep, well, that's it. See you later. Williams pinball is no Damn. more. So, so we're gonna make casino uh, games." Interesting question. Y- y- Chris picked up a, a Black Knight 2000. How much did you? I don't. If you don't want to say how much you spent on it, that's fine. But less than five grand, more than two grand. Okay, it wasn't okay. bad though. It was reasonable. What, what did What did you spend on your Doctor Who ten? It, we spent twelve hundred on it. Did we know it was fourteen? Wasn't it? Wasn't it fourteen? Either okay, way, it was way too around there. I thought it was there. twelve. <laughs> At what price would people consider buying a new table for? I mean, if, if I mean, because you know, they're they're selling like the the, the cheap stripped down. Tables from Let's not talk about the pin because that's horrible and it needs to die. Okay, but but, but <laughs> wait, what? what? So Stern released what they're calling like a home version of pinball. Right. Which, oh, I saw those. Yeah, it's it's they're called awful. the pin. They've released a Transformers one right now, and I think they're trying to release another one. It's using not necessarily lower quality parts, but it just looks kind of junky. It's four grand for this table. Right. When Still you can much. go and buy an older, yeah. honest to god, good table for two grand. You yeah, know, but something there, around there. There's a shit ton of labor that goes into building one of these machines. Sure, sure. I, I'm not and, taking and, that and away. And they're in Chicago, which is 
way overpriced for labor and, and everything else. Right, but, but when when you look at the market, four grand for something that is yeah. not a full pinball table, when you can pay that and get a full pinball table, does not make well, that's, sense. That's what I was going to ask. What would be a price point that people that they, that that pinball could be in sort of an actual mass market? I, mean, if I don't. I don't know. It I'd depends say probably on not what about demographic. fifteen. Well, yeah. hold on. You're you're not I'd asking say, the one percent, Chris. Grand. Right, but um, like, like yeah. a, if they I mean a, if they could get a pinball table for a thousand bucks, how well would it sell, and how stripped down would it be? You think? Well, here's the thing. I think they would have to build it. It would have to be built modular so that there'd be a lot less in the actual construction of and it. And for that, pinball would have to be ten times more popular than it is now, too. I think. Well, bear in mind, like some of the old '80s machines, like the early '80s, you can find for under a grand. Right, that's they what might I'm be saying. a little busted, but I mean, it's still pinball. Could could you design an '80s style machine with you know a few bumpers and a couple of ramps and not a t- shit ton of toys and easy maintenance for a thousand bucks? I think bucks that some of the problem is is that like at, at least for me, um, like you know, we've talked about getting an arcade machine, we talked about getting a pinball machine and everything. I think that what makes me more hesitant to get a pinball table is I know that it takes work. You got to clean it. You got to fix it. There's moving parts. There's all this stuff with maintenance. You know, you buy one and it might be busted or it might, you know, need new rubber or whatever. I don't even know. And, and that as a casual gamer mm-hmm. is intimidating. Whereas, mm-hmm. you know, if you get, an arcade and something goes wrong, I am I probably would feel more comfortable with being able to find someone that could fix it for me. Whereas with a pinball, I mean, it, it, obviously being me and knowing the people that I know, I can find somebody to fix whatever for me. But the average person is going to look at a pinball table and say, well, that's really cool. And a thousand dollars is a, seems like a pretty decent price. But when a part gets broken, how the hell am I going to fix it? Yeah, if they, if who they do built, I call? If they built pen made machines for like fifteen hundred, that would probably be that sweet spot. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. I didn't. Yeah, that that, that. Yeah, pen made machines or or just uh, some sort of machine that you could play either the emulated or or like pinball arcade on. But it's just yeah. If there was like I'd some rather sort of, I'd rather pick up a Wiimote and just do, do you, it do you on think the there is a market, like, Chris, for someone to to or anybody to make an old style? Like a Gorgar style, just points. Not none of these goals, or not no wizard mode. Well, but you're because every every new machine has some it's all these random. Goals. And how much well, do they pay it, for licenses in those things? Well, I mean, and and really, if you look at current gaming, how many games are people going for points as opposed to achievements? Oh yeah, points are gone. Yeah, points are gone. I mean, like like you need to have achievements. Mm. So they've they've you know done that with with Great pinball achievement now. Achievement pinball. Well, well yeah. It, and that, well, and that's the thing. Oh, there like, we go. Xbox Live, the pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dream one. So every time you put in a coin, it just goes fag. Yeah. <laughs> when you lose the ball, it calls you and. Yep. You get to be. And then, you like, get if, achievements. If you tilt it. Red, red ring of death. Yep. Yeah. Red ring. <laughs> and then well, no, 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 no. Tilt. It just, it just red rings randomly. To it. Yeah. You buy the machine and you gotta keep putting. Money yeah, you get it. Every, it. every once in a while, someone comes by. It has and to be online. You. Uh-huh. It's always online. Yeah, it's, it's online only. <laughs> DLC multi ball. Wait, yeah. no, you didn't pay enough. <laughs> well, no, you, Sim you City can, pinball always online. <laughs> you can buy Xbox Live or Xbox the pinball machine. And you're you've got Xbox Silver, the pinball machine. Oh, if you, oh yeah! There we if go. you pay oh, additional, isn't that what Stern already does? Oh, <laughs> hey! Yeah. Every time you add in another <laughs> coin, that'll give you an extra minute of Xbox Gold, the pinball machine, and all the ramps work. <laughs> no, no, so, so is it is is pinball just a niche at this point? Like, is it is pinball popular to you know? I mean, there's a professional crowd of pinball people, but there's a professional crowd of StarCraft people. So, is pinball just a niche, and is it too expensive of a niche? Where you take you know, like like we don't have kids, we have a cat, so we have a pinball table. But well, you know, like there's got to be middle ground. I would just, when like, I was growing up, there was those shitty little plastic pinball machines uh-huh. yeah. that you know. Fifty bucks or whatever they were, and they were all, there was no electricity, and they were just yeah. purely mechanical. I think I had a battery run one when I was a kid. I just yeah, like I had a battery. You run. know, there should just be mm-hmm. more bars with pinball. I mean, they it's economics. They pay the the big bucks, and they 
make money off of us. Just play a couple games of each one. I don't know. Yeah, I think the thing that that bothers me the most. I don't. I definitely don't have the money right now to buy a pinball machine. I would love to be able to afford one, but I can't. And the thing that really sucks is every six months I get to go play well kept pinball machines unless I come over to Chris's. You know what I mean? To play to play the one machine that is local and not broken. And we don't have arcades anymore. The bars are obviously arcade. not putting. There's a new barcade coming. But um, they're not all about pinball. Is the thing. There, I don't. Yeah. I haven't noticed any pinballs on their list. Well, so I, we should I all go to Vegas. Comment. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, they they, they are um, they they're kind of uh, learning that people want pinball on their yeah. Facebook. I, I posted like, a uh, a comment on their Facebook page, and it sounds like they're open to it, especially after I then posted uh, an epistle afterwards. Mm-hmm. I saw that. That's yeah. great. Uh, yeah, I probably put more time into that than I really should have. But um, it's like a thesis. No, yeah, but I think great. you were convincing. No, yeah, <laughs> but it, it sounds like they're they're open to the idea, and you know, my fear is that they invest in a couple machines, they put them on free play, they get annihilated, yeah. and then they go, "This was a really bad idea," and yeah. that that's the end of it. That's I'm that's what happens to like Jesse's machines. With a free play arcade. Yeah, I I don't know how that's going to work. Aside from like, sure, they oh, you want a PBR? It's seven dollars. Well, so that's that's no what happened market? with uh, like, a, like a cover charge. No, like, no. no. Whoa, they charge they're going to make the all the money off drinks, drinks apparently. Wow. In your neighborhood. Spilled on so, so uh, where where's it next at? to Dirty Franks downtown? Uh, next to Dirty Franks. Okay, God, it should be that's, less that's less that's less, close less on the drink and more on the game and charge for the game. Maybe well, I don't well, know. That's I don't know. Like, how does ground control, control work? That's how it works. It's like ground control. Like our, uh, they have some like beer. Scene. They don't have like a full bar. They have like cans of things and bottles. Mm-hmm. And then everything is twenty five cents, fifty cents. They have a whole row of pinball too up there. And I don't know. I mean, I don't think they. They have had some financial troubles, but they're still in existence. They've been around for almost 10 years. So yeah, I mean, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, even yeah. if they made it a quarter, even if they made them all quarter games, I think that would help to keep the abuse well, down. Well, that, yeah. that's what Jesse did at Arcade Legacy. I mean, he brought the pinball machines in, and he had um, at least X-Men, but there might be more than one of them that's outside of the um, the, the free play area that's uh-huh. in the, the pay area. So he you just, have to... uh, after he made his money back on X-Men, he flipped it back to free play. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. but he got his money back. Oh, well, see, I, I guess that works then. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it seems like it would make sense. It seems like for... it didn't take very long either. No, it's, the, no. He, he has, he had one, he got done to one pinball machine and now he's got six again. He's, he's what? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. You the last time I was there, it was like, all they had was, uh, like the Jurassic Park was broken. Um, well, they had the medieval madness, just the name or whatever. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think I think Corey, I think you hit a big point that, that you know there there's not arcades anymore, and it, I think it's kind of a I don't know the best way to put it. I guess I guess I want to say it maybe a self fulfilling prophecy, and it's the same kind of thing we talk about on the um, on the show about video game stores. How when the video game stores close early, people can't go, they can't shop, so they make less money, so they close earlier, cut their hours back, whatever. It's the same kind of thing with pinball. The arcades started going away because they weren't making money. Well, all of a sudden now people can't play pinball, so there's not as much interest in it. They're interested in things mm-hmm. that they can play, so that means there's not as much, you know, going into new development. I mean, it's you know, availability has to drive a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes it really difficult to get new people into it. I, we were at uh, at PAX East this year, and they did uh, pop, like uh, Bowen and um, Bowen and the guy whose name I forget that is like the main guy for main organizer for Papa was were there doing like a how to play pinball and I mean the the panel was actually packed mm-hmm. and there were people there talking about like well I, like there was a kid there that was like I've never played a physical pinball machine until I came here this year and played it in the AKM arcade hmm. yeah, there- you know and they're like I love it and I play all the pinball arcade stuff and I've never been able to play a physical machine. So I don't know. Yeah, that probably kills it too. Is that people can't get interested in it because it's not available. So it makes it sad. Is there a beef between the Papa people and like the uh, Pinball Hall of Fame people? And I have the, no idea. What What's the one in Baltimore that just closed? It was the the National Mu- Pinball Museum? I think. That sounds right. Yeah. They yeah, did, I don't know. But it seems like none of these people were in communication with one another. I was on Retro Gaming Roundup forums, and they're big pinball heads. I said, anybody want to pop this weekend? And they got no replies. <laughs> so it's like, what? I mean, is there just no? I don't get it. Oh, here, switch mics. Have a new mic. Yeah. You're now cooler. You're now two percent cooler. Yeah, no, I'm not. 
Two percent is not that bad. Well, but yeah, I, I think that's what makes me the saddest is that I just can't. Like, if pinball machines were around, I like I remember being at Gumby's and they had a fun house there, which is just a shitty pizza place down the road. And I hadn't thought about playing pinball forever because I hadn't seen any. And then I walked in and I was like, oh, shit, there's a pinball machine and it's Funhouse. And I remember playing this and I want to play it now. So I put coins yeah. in it and played yeah, it. Yeah, Rudy that's is way creepier in real life. Oh, yeah. That's, that's how I was at the James with uh, Simpsons Pinball Party. I mean, I literally had not played pinball since, mm-hmm. since I was like 16 years old and my brother worked at Pizza Pizzazz. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, did I say 16? Yeah. Six. Oh, wow. All right. Seven. Whatever. Um, you know, they had an arcade in them. It was like showbiz pizza, but it was... Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I start hanging out at this bar, and there's Simpsons pinball party, and I'm like, I like the Simpsons. I like pinball. I think I'll play. And it was just like... Yeah, I think that we need to... I think the other problem, too, is that kids that are growing up now aren't used to arcades. So, well, I mean, I, and, like, that's the thing. It's it's going to take a lot Kids to... these days. To, I, I, yeah, I hate sounding They're not like allowed that, to get but, out of the house anymore. Well, you don't have to, though, because their gaming experience is entirely different than ours was yep. growing yeah. up. Like, Fucking kids. Like, there is... <laughs> that we were, I think we were saying in the beginning, we were on the cusp of the end of the arcade, and now yeah. that the arcade is over, that's the other problem is all these kids... That, like, people growing up past when we were playing in the arcades are growing up without pinball as an available thing. So they don't really know what it is or how it works. And they're used to Xbox Live. Well, so I have a question. Do you believe that the generation now who are having kids, that would be our generation now who are having kids, are going to have cool kids that are going to be into classic video games and pinball because we're into them? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. You know what? going to be a resurgence because, you know, you guys are teaching Delia to be awesome. She likes Frog Bog. (laughs) <laughs> She's a beast. I, I think it'll be niche, but if they really want to get mainstream, they need Stern needs to actually release their games digitally and in mm-hmm. real life. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They they need to throw that shit on Xbox Live, even if they don't make a profit. Well, even if it's a that even would if get the, them exposed. It's a, it's a new cycle, right? Like, okay, we release the physical tables, then we release the the virtual tables. Like maybe even a year later. Like we've got a lot of stern stuff they could catch up on, well, they, and then that might inspire people to go out and actually. Play they should with immediately, uh, every time they make a table, give the rights to or sell the rights to Pinball Arcade, mm-hmm. not make it themselves. Right, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Still, I mean, every if, table, if, if they had yeah. a thing on there and then you could play it, and then they can actually have a like a link on the page saying, "Oh, look, you can play this locally at XXX Bar or mm-hmm. XXX." Mm-hmm. Actually, what they need to do is they need to do like the um, like the Japanese arcades where you get like the QR code or whatever, and you can actually like post your score that you played at the physical place, or yeah, be able to have them um, <laughs> have them always on. So like you know, they can, <laughs> like you know, tweet the score or whatever. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, they they could they could make the physical machine more you know advertise itself and be more social at the same. Well, time. Well, yeah, because because you're no longer competing. Like people aren't used to competing anymore against people that are just standing right next to them yeah you're competing like the idea of high scores is like competing against the world now and i think that that's an important thing that's kind of off-putting to me honestly because i'm never anywhere near any of those high scores it's been really inspirational for me with pinball arcade though like when they did every time they do a tournament i am like on it hardcore to just to place like the last tournament there were prizes for anybody that got over any place over 200 and then a separate set of prizes for anybody that got placed over a hundred. Is that for every or, version sorry, of it too? Is that for cross platform? Um, I'm not sure if it was cl- cl- cross platform or only iOS, but they're planning on doing it cross platform. But it, like, I busted my ass to get 52nd in their tournament for a month, and it like, uh-huh. and it really pushed me to do it. And it didn't cost me money to play every time. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, well, when I'm sitting on the shitter, I'm gonna play <laughs> fucking pinball and and get. And get see if I can. Merry beat Christmas, shit is full. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I mean, it was really Fortunately, cool. Fortunately, there are no live video casts so if you drop in yes, a No, and- I, you know, I'm not into that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> multi ball. Can't yeah. FaceTime that. One. Draining yeah. complete something completely uh, yeah. different. Oh man, I, you got to see my wizard mode. Oh, <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, you on do. that note, no. <laughs> but no, I mean, it was I, like I really enjoy that because even if I'm not doing great, like when I first started playing pinball arcade, I was absolute fucking garbage and i would just be like man i want to get in the top 200 on this machine you know what i mean just like out of the world i'm top 200 that feels pretty good 
You know what I mean? And that's not a an unreasonable goal, and that pushed me to, like, keep trying to raise my scores and stuff like that. And so, like, then you have this, like, idea of how the world is doing at it and how you fit into that as opposed to, like, just at your local arcade or something like that. Because you always – even when you see the old video, the old movies of, or, like, interviews with people that were, like, you know, the best – Donkey Kong player in the world or something like that. A lot of them were just like the kings of their arcade until they found out that they were actually the right. best in the world. Now you know, like you're national, you can be nationally ranked pretty quickly. So that that's one thing that I wish they would um, implement in the pinball arcade mm. is I wish they um, they would let you be able to like save your game and upload the video of your game to YouTube. Because I'd like yes. to watch, you know, how PlayStation Four. Know. Yeah, I don't think you would have liked to have watched my really crazy Twilight Zone game that I got over ten billion on. It was I, like we were watching a movie, and okay. I was like, "Yeah, I'll put this down when I'm done with the game." And the game lasted over an hour and a half. Wow! Like so, it was. What were you playing it on? Uh, iPad. Yeah. So you're reminding me of one thing that sucks about pinball, pinball arcade is you'll cancel, you'll stop after your first ball if it's yeah. not at a certain point. Like, <laughs> yeah. but that point that you have to be at rises every time you play. Like, yep. if I don't get 200 million on my first ball, I'm gonna just yeah, it's, every it's single it's time. A waste. Uh, yeah, yep. So, but that you never do that on obviously. No, no, you don't do that on the real machines. You don't feel like doing it on the no, real machines because no. so. you're using real quarters and you yep. get real free well, games. So there is a difference in uh, Tatten has. Uh, we have a PS3. We mm-hmm. also have a. V- he has his Vita, mm-hmm. and playing on the Vita, it is all done right there. Mm-hmm. Playing on the PS3, there's a lag in the controller. I've heard that, yeah. So I, that's I kind have of dickety balls if you're trying to play. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple Sorry. of uh, <laughs> tables for the PS3 version. I just don't like. I like to play pinball while I'm watching TV. If I'm playing video pinball, like I'm like, okay, we're marathoning Arrested Development, you know, and I just sit there and dick around with it, you know, for a few hours or, you know, I don't know. It's it's like one of my few. I think I think that it's I think pinball in general and I. I I've talked about this before, like, I have pretty extreme ADD, so, like, pinball has so many things going on on it that it actually keeps my brain really well engaged and focused on it because there's so many different things happening. Um, Arrested Development Pinball? Oh, I would play it. Oh, my God. Oh, with Never knew Banana multiple. Flippers. Banana Flippers. Banana, Banana Flippers! Banana Flippers! <laughs> Oh my god. Random blue handprints everywhere. <laughs> oh, I blew myself. <laughs> it would taunt you with different uh, chicken noises. Oh my god. I you just have to want spell Mr. Banana Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I would play the shit out. <laughs> I would too. I, yeah, it just it just kind of makes me it just kind of makes me sad that I can't play the physical machines as often because it is a completely different experience. Like I said, like pinball arcade is my relaxing like video pinball thing, and then like being in a being in a place with an actual machine, it's like a physical activity. I know the first last time when when Andrew, myself, and Chris went, we played for like three days straight and were beat to death like we were so tired like our arms hurt our wrists mm-hmm. hurt it was yeah, depressing yeah. yeah pinball is definitely physical yeah i didn't realize i have old lady early onset arthritis but, but just here. like anything else like it didn't happen this time right as much you were more used to it no, i still no. we didn't play as much this time and first... we were drinking so i think uh, we were a little looser See, yeah yeah i was, yeah, you must have I was yeah. only there sunday yeah. and i my, still came my away. wrists still hurt after my the wrists it. hurt and you know, you get the pinball stance. You got to get the one leg way yeah. back there. I, yeah. The hip up on the machine. And, like, I was sore the next day. I will, yeah, I my, will my say this. Hurt my wrist That's hurt. pretty I think a big, I I think a big difference I for me this year is I'm way more comfortable with it, though. Like, when you first start playing, I, I think that this happens for anybody. There is a point you have to hit. There's like a there's a level you have to hit of comfort with playing pinball. Like you start playing it and it everything is insanely terrifying. Like oh god, the ball's coming. Yeah. Like every every time it's so hard to train yourself to just not hit both the flippers all the time. Mm-hmm. And then it's so hard to train yourself to like try to trap the ball and not freak out. And then it's hard to train yourself to like actually let the ball drop and don't hit your flipper and bounce over to another flipper. And there's a like there's a tension level that has to drop, and it takes a really long time to like kind of break yourself of that. I, I think. The, I think so. the last thing to go. I was saying is the actual shoving the table. Like, yeah, that's the last yeah. thing you learn. Yeah, I, I'm still not there. Like I'm not. Yeah, I, I watch it all the time. Like 
like Megan has a really good eye for what to do, but whenever we're playing, whenever she's playing, I'm just like, oh, you're just too nervous while you're playing. Like I'm like, you need like a Vicodin or something before you play, and you won't care. Like just let it go. I keep yeah, getting guilt from playing Doctor Who because it's like, okay, I'm gonna select the sixth Doctor. No, I lost the sixth Doctor. Now I'm gonna <laughs> I'm select sad. the seventh. Do- oh no, now I have guilt. <laughs> so the funny thing about learning to to you know move the table and stuff like that i'm still not there myself but it's funny whenever i go to papa because i start off really light like i'll just give it like a little "Eh," like a little like love tap on the side and it does absolutely nothing (laughs) and by the end of the first day it's like tilt and i'm throwing it across the room when when you see a seven-year-old girl oh my god she She was 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 awesome She had anger issues. Yeah. She was playing ACDC and was beating the crap I, out I of it. I was afraid for my dude, life. I watched a her, seven I year old redhead, her by the way. Avengers. Don't want to, uh... Yeah, she was this like eight, nine, seven year old girl with like R- with curly red hair. red hair and this that... little skirt, and she was so cute. And then she stepped up to the Avengers table and she was just like, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> and like, she was like holding the ball. And like, I mean, she, I was, was just. Was it like, to good effect though? What? Was it, what yeah, was it? I mean, she was good. Was that the girl yeah. that. that... Like, when she came up to us, she was like, she's like, my dad has this machine. I've got oh, this machine at home. I wonder if that was her. Yeah, because I, I didn't see her, her play. Can't imagine her like, going to a lot of bars, but then she did have anger issues. Yeah, well, you know. You gotta, you gotta. Did she have kind of like, uh, like a. She had like a, a t shirt. on? Maybe. She had like a t shirt on that was like for some cheerleader squad or drill squad or something and then a little skirt and then she had uh, uh, Team Pinball Squad! <laughs> a permanent scowl. <laughs> she had, uh, Did she had smell a job like at the shirt folding store <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Hey, I got a question. Uh, we mentioned Spy Hunter. Uh, are there any other terrible, just awfully designed pinball machines oh, that you play? Shrek. Say Shrek? Shrek. You mean Family, family Guy? Family Guy. Family Guy. <laughs> Aww, I, like, yeah. I like the Family Guy machine. I like no, the no, mini but it's not the Family Guy. Family Guy has a, that left flipper that does nothing. Yeah. Right? So, so, yeah. well, but the left Shrek flipper, it does the, nothing. The, 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 the toys in Shrek are freaking Happy Meal toys. They are. They're they literally... Talk. They're supposed to talk. I don't know. if I think that might be a custom machine because it's a Family Guy machine. I think it was official. I think yeah. is it official? It was, it was they just basically no. had the same layout. And oh, you know what? That's quick. right. It has the stern logo on the back glass. Yeah, it's but official. it is. I played it more is than one of them. Literally, Family Guy, mm. right? With a Shrek theme, just like put over it. Yeah. Probably, but, over yeah. probably yeah. in their in their yeah. like really dire, we're almost bankrupt days. They're like, well, we got this machine. Mm-hmm. We have the Shrek like license. Version. Let's just here you go. Yeah. Yeah. I still think the mini pinball in the top corner is a lot of fun. It's fun. fun to I get love like, the mini yeah. pinball. So cute. It's a regurgitation. It's they they did a I think they did a better job with the the family guy and then they just were like, "Let's go ahead and take the same thing." And yeah. I don't think it's that. I think at, they invested all the money in the design for it and then they put an adult themed um thing on there. So yeah. it's like, "Okay, you know, obviously you can't take the family guy one and put it in a Chuck E. Cheese. Let's, you know, let's wrap Shrek around it and, you know, show Wait, Chuck E. Cheese place. still exists? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Whenever you, there's, there's lots of fights there now. Oh, is yeah. it? Like, lots Gang of, like, activity. kids, like, knife fighting with their arms no, it's, tied it's together. <laughs> I say, I, it, 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 oh, between adults, parents? Adults aren't allowed to go in by themselves. They have to have a kid. I know. I was yeah. pissed the last time I tried to go in a Chuck E. Cheese. And they tag your kid now. Really? Like, yeah, you like, have to, like, like, you like have they have one of those guns, like a. <laughs> no, they they put like a bracelet on your kid, the and then they, you have like a matching bracelet, and they have to scan it before and they made, you can leave. Wow! They made the logo the logo mouse skinny mouse because he's like tiny a, too. Yeah, he's like he's like real thin now. Like he, yeah, he used anorexic fat. mouse. Yeah, it's like because you know eating. No, he's like bad. skinny jeans wearing like like hipster, hipster mouse. <laughs> oh, hipster tokens! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> they are brass. <laughs> Uh, one type Called of style it. I don't like is uh, the the wide body styles. Uh, like, what you mean, like, like genie, like or? genie and Superman, and the the other Atari like genie, right? Two thousand, that thing's rubbish. It just it doesn't play. I don't know. It just didn't feel right. I, I can understand Atari back in the though. day when they didn't have arcade machines. It's like, ooh, look at this giant pinball machine because mm-hmm. everything like, had to be giant size. Is this where we insert a joke Hercules, about Chris not liking Hercules, wide body styles? Heat. Hercules is brilliant. <laughs> they need a Hercules Sorry, there. No. Oh my god! Oh, I love Hercules so hard. Oh, that it's a bocce like, ball. Is it or like a no? God. It's a it, it's ball? a uh, cue ball. Cue ball. Yeah, it's a cue ball. But the thing is, with that game, it's so over the top. Like yeah. the the flippers are just. 
it, it feels like you're swinging hammers. It's, it's yeah. fantastic. Wait, yeah. the Hercules, the legendary journeys? No, 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 no. from the seventies. I think. Yeah, it's, it's a seven. They have it would barely fit in this room. It's twice as it's big. about the, it's, it's, the it's the size, size of, of a like a single bed. Um, they have two of them at Cedar Point, and they're, they're always and broken. Then though the <laughs> guy, the guy at um, what was that guy's name? Doctor Scott. Doctor Scott's Over pinball, in Mommy, Ohio. In Mommy, Ohio, has one there, and it's on quarter play for charity. So if you go in there, he's got all of his pinball machines set up, and he has some really cool ones. Actually, Super Mario Brothers pinball is really cool. I don't know why they don't have one. They don't have one. Freaking pop on Yeah, I don't know why. It's a fairly they inexpensive. Four hundred machine. machines, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, they do have RoboCop, which is bitching. But um, that was a good one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. but um, but yeah, he's got a Hercules machine there. There's video. I took a couple of videos of us. Yeah. Chris and I playing I, on it, and I posted, we posted them on Facebook. I, I posted think. mine to Facebook. I didn't see yours though. Oh, okay. Speaking I, of videos, how'd great. your little helmet cam work out? Eh, it worked out okay. I. It was high, so you couldn't see the the flippers really. But I I put one of the videos up. It's all right on the right. website. It was, yeah, it was not on the website. I, I guess I could link it on the website. Was it on Facebook then? You put it. Or no, I just know? put it up on YouTube. I just oh, okay. I, okay. I I felt bad not putting one of them. So I did one of the Indiana Jones runs. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it, it was good for a first run. It was a nice experiment, but didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. Do you want to upload the one that we have of me playing Doctor Who while we were testing, and the cat decided he was going to crap on the floor? So I, I was <laughs> sounds like, like the best pinball game finishing, ever. I was finishing up my Litter game, box. and I look over, and there's like cat ass just dragging along the floor. <laughs> cat shit multi ball. Oh man, I think I have that every day though. But you know, I think I think we should go uh, like uh, round robin here and do. Um, our favorite game from Papa, our least favorite game, maybe the game we did the best best score at. What okay. do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go first yourself? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go yeah, I'll go first. So, um, I think my my least favorite one was definitely Spy Hunter because that was horrible. Um, although I do have to say the the Wheel of Fortune was really bad too because I I was having <laughs> I was having a lot of fun playing it. Like I really like it's I, actually a pretty fun. Machine, I liked it. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. But I don't know the the tilt sensor was set so awful on that that there was like one or two events that you would trigger and it would like tilt itself out. Like I didn't touch the machine oh, at all, man. <laughs> and I and I'd go I'd, I'd either open up a multi ball or I'd hit something and it'd be like tilt. It would just like end the game and dump all the balls that I'd locked out. And I'm like, what the so like going the machine's on? like like. The Earthshaker, does that turn the tilt off when it actually is rumbling? No, or? so with those, it the rumble is connected to the wood board, but not the chassis. Uh-huh. So inside the chassis, on usually the left-hand side, there's a plumb bob inside of a ring, inside of a metal ring. Whenever that plumb bob touches the ring, it connects the circuit, mm-hmm. which then says, oh, danger, or double danger, or tilt. Yeah. Because that rumble is attached directly to the play field, it's not affecting the the chassis. Okay. Yeah, because whatever was going on with that Wheel of Fortune, I wasn't touching it. I tilted out twice on it. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that thing was awful. Terrible. Um, I think, the, I think my favorite one... delicate these days. Yeah, I... I, I've got to say, I, th- I think my favorite one was that Guns N' Roses. I, cool. I really love that Guns N' Roses machine. <laughs> I know. I'm Down. sorry. That's I loved right. it. Uh, and then I, I think Indy was my best. Yeah. <laughs> you think Indy was your best? Yeah. Oh, ten, <laughs> okay, ten. okay, okay. Let's just bring up the point. Yeah, go ahead. That one ball, he scored 67 million points, which was more than... Three other players. The three, three, three other, other players. players playing s- finished. Combined. Combined. <laughs> like, the three other players at the end of ev- everything had, like, somebody had 48, somebody had, uh, like, 18, and somebody had three. Or something like that. Like, yeah. And then... That's nine balls versus one ball, and there was more yes. than one. Okay. <laughs> so, so uh, I think that was kind of your best play. Yeah, it's, it's Tatton's favorite thing, where he goes ahead and says, I'm not very good at this. And then he's really good at it. Well, you also feel guilty when you're playing multiplayer on and pinball, stop and your and everyone. your one ball is just taking forever, and you're kind of like, I feel really bad. Sorry, I don't know. guys. Sorry, I'm so good. I know, sometimes Sorry, I'm just I'm like, awesome. should I just drain this so somebody else can play? Because I feel like a dick. Yeah, I was like, I was glad no, no one was, was paying awesome attention to upstairs because, like, 
when I did that first ball in the Black Knight when we were playing and got like mm-hmm. the two the two point four million or whatever. Yeah, I turned around. I was like, Tatten! Oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to keep my mouth shut so sorry, I wouldn't, sorry, wouldn't put everybody. the pressure on him. I still did good after I said that. So. But it's but it's fun to watch though. I mean, although then you get people watching over your shoulder and then you're like, mm-hmm. but um, but I think that's one of the things with pinball is is it's people watch you. Yeah, you're competing the with nature. them because it's a four player game, but you're like. You know, eventually you get to the point where you're just like, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I really can't have anybody walking in my periphery while I'm playing, or it throws me off really bad. So you need to tell me yourself, dear. I was like talking uh. to you the whole time we were playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, it really, it really oh, does well. throw me off though, because my focus is so like centered on the board that like other things popping in throw me off. So I try to be like back like five steps. That's why I wasn't saying anything to Tat and I was like, I'm gonna stay over here. So and if just you're watch competing against Corey <laughs> If you Corey. wanna get punched in the Pro balls tip. get all up in his <laughs> if wanna, shit. If you wanna screw him up, <laughs> no, no, just put don't your don't hand even do that. Just ass. walk in no. the periphery. Don't even, just, don't even need to be just, that close. Oh just, I think I need a drink. <laughs> just, walk, walk, walk. No, just lightly place your hand on his ass and <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I have to step back further from the machine because I'm a boner. <laughs> the only thing that distracts me is if I get kicked in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. Randomly. And uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> um, so, I think I did the best because I had other people play um, the gay 90s with me, and I think I did the best. Because I got what, 5,000 or something like that. It was a really low scoring. Like, you could get single mm-hmm. points, which was cool. Um. And then my favorite was Spanish Eyes again because I love that table. What's your least favorite? Uh, Los ojos españoles. Uh, Spanish Eyes over Big Guns. I like Big Guns, but honestly, I, I have more. You fun don't know like, why? Like big Guns. <laughs> I was gonna say you like Big Guns. We get a couple right uh, over here. Twenty-four and twelve. <laughs> Sorry, you cannot lie. Oh yeah, brother. Oh god, um, learn your sir mix no, a lot. I liked Big Guns, but I feel like the Spanish Eyes wasn't as busy. Um, and I couldn't get the, the rockets to launch off as many times as I wanted them to in Big Gun, so I, I liked that better. And then, um, oh, God, I, I suck like so hard at so many of those. That but, but talk I, about one that's just, like, bad, objectively bad, not one that you sucked at, maybe. Oh, Time yeah. 2000. Time 2000 <laughs> time, the biggest time 2000. Yeah, t- Time 2000 has um, flippers and flippers. Jesus. So dude. here's the thing. It has two sets of flippers, right? And it has the, the, the left and right, and then right beside it, it has the left and the right. So you have to control... The left, like, like you hit the left and it hits both left ones. And then you hit the right and it hits both right ones. But you have to, like, my brain doesn't wrap around the fact that there's two sets of, of flippers. And that it's like, all right, I want to hit this one. And it's on the left-hand side of the table. I would think that I would hit the left-hand button. And both of the left-hand side would, no. Oh, my it God. Is, it is left 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 and then left right left oh, okay. and then right 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 and then choo, right choo, left choo. left yeah 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 it's just like that one and it's a wide body like it's it's overly large and it's one of the early atari ones like it's pretty because it's so it's so 70s but um so cincinnati the, so cincinnati <laughs> no it's got the those those flippers can go to hell all right i'm done um <laughs> I didn't really have a dominating game this time. I think my best performance is back in August at Mid- Medieval Madness against Corey and, and Chris and, and Andrew. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was you great. stomped our buttholes. I, that, I think that was my one glory moment. I'll, <laughs> so we didn't do a podcast at that time. That I'll just relive that moment. Okay. You'll be reliving that one in the nursing home. Too, yeah. I, <laughs> I remember the time I beat you at Medieval Madness. At the Medieval Madnesses. <laughs> but we're all going to be in the retirement home, so it's going to be no. Hopefully that, <laughs> hopefully that retirement home has fifteen grand to buy a medieval madness. <laughs> they might buy where my uh, grandmother lives. They have two pool tables, so I imagine when we are the, never mind. Hopefully <laughs> that would be awesome. When we're old. It's going to be Galaga and pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Well, I can't wait to retire now. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Galaga and Stern something sucky. I don't think I played a really shitty one this time because I kind of stuck to what I knew and then what Tatten and, and Steve and other people no, said. You played try episode this one. one. I played what? Oh yeah, episode episode one. Okay, sure. That one sucked. That was kind of my idea too. I think. I'm yeah, sorry. but I mean, I never played it before, so gotta play it. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I, that's that's my two answers. I don't need to go into anything else today. <laughs> um, my favorite was Fast Break. I love that one. Uh, I'm not very good at it, so. <laughs> 
Least favorite was Fire because it's like the most insomnia curing table I've, machine I've ever played. <laughs> with, so, the actual, with the actual fire bell on the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, ding, so ding, 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 ding. And then one I did really well on. I didn't do as good as you on Gay 90s, but I did pretty good when I played Chris. Like, hey, yeah. Gay 90s, yo! <laughs> And one that I'd like to see next year. Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong podcast. Super Mario Brothers and, and freaking oh, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. There's a Teenage have, Mutant Ninja Turtles There's machine. a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wizard of Oz. Oh, my God. Original, uh, Playmates action figures, and they are, like, screwed into their hands. So it's like Turtle Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, really cool. God. I've been called that in bed before. <laughs> <laughs> What does that say, dear? You got that on a fortune cookie? <laughs> oh, God. Look, dude, like if you're bleeding from down there, here. you might want to see a doctor. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm actually being a nerd. I took pictures of all my scores, so I'm trying to go through all my scores. <laughs> nerd. Well played. I am such a nerd. Um, I think my favorite that I hadn't played before is the Doctor Who machine. Becky, I want to come live at your house. It, we need to Be- have another pinball. Well, we yes. Need to play in the house. Do a Becky and Tatton pinball night. Yeah, we I've... need to get it clean and then and then have everybody come over and we'll clean it first, mm-hmm. and then we'll be able to break it in. Mm-hmm. I that was a that was a lot of fun for me, and I didn't do so bad on that. I don't want to say my score because I'm sure Tatton's done something way more awesome. Um, but let's see. My least favorite was definitely the Rolling Stones machine. Mick Jagger's a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mick, 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 speak English. Like he's like flat. He's paper, flat. Paper, paper, paper and Mick. no matter where you hit the ball, he automatically jumps well, in front of it yeah. and sweeps like, it. He is you. the ultimate douchebag in that game. He's like, hey, you want to hit this ramp? No, no. I'm, I'm going to stand it here. Oh, how about that one? Well, no, the no, thing no, is, no, they no, had to over here. Oh, let me move over here really everybody quick. Everybody in that band was going to get a copy of that table, and they had to be able to do cocaine off of every single surface. So they all have to be, Mick Jagger has to be flat. <laughs> That's why. And Made me nostalgic for Windows 95. Oh. <laughs> I'm more then, of a Windows for work groups. Oh. 3.1. Microsoft <laughs> Bob! <laughs> and then my, my best game was definitely my Avengers game that I beat the crap out of three really, really old guys that were probably way better at pinball than me. And I had to walk away from the table and just smile and be like, yeah, I'm awesome. What? <laughs> yeah. Drop the mic. That was that was definitely that would be a drop the mic moment. I I'm, I'm looking at my scores right now. Let's see. I ended with 5.9 million and the next highest score was 2.2. 2. So, that I was pretty proud So you're of basically that one. just walking away like have fun with this boys. Like, I'm going for bigger and better things. Like, yeah, yeah what? Well, you just saw that. I'm, yeah, I'm I don't here. want to play with you suckers anymore. I'll go play where there's a real challenge. Turkey. Taking my coins <laughs> and good <going> home. <laughs> mm. I think it's my turn. I don't really remember a whole lot of it. I was wandering around. I didn't play a whole lot. Medieval Madness, didn't you beat um, us in that? Did I? I do know that we, Chris and I ended up four and four, but for a while there, I was three and one. And I was very happy about that. I won like three games in a row against him. And that made me very happy. Did I Did I do well in Medieval Madness? You beat me. That was good. Yeah, you beat me. Oh, yeah, that was, was one like- of the, that was the third one. That was the one I took the picture of, because that was the third beat I had on you. Um... I did really like playing the Indiana Jones too because that was fun because I like the wah 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 wah. It's all about the wah wahs. It's all about the wah wahs. And the multi balls vomiting at you. I didn't get a multi ball. Then you didn't play Indiana. But I saw (laughs) multi balls and it was fun and it was glorious. Really, you could replace the black the back glass for Indiana Jones with multi ball the game. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Featuring I, Indiana I, Jones. I, I would play that game. Because that's, yeah. that's all you really want. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't anything I played that I hated, but I didn't play a whole lot because I knew Chris was going to want to play a lot, so I sacrificed my own enjoyment for my husband's. Oh. No, oh, I, whatever. I just didn't, yeah. Damn. I just didn't want to put another five in the. I didn't want to put another five in the token machine. <laughs> I, just, I was going broke. And then there's Brad and I who spent... Sixty dollars. Did you really? <laughs> thirty of it was in T-shirts. I will be, uh, but, right. oh, okay. but yeah, still, fine. but still thirty dollars in, in. I had a good moment where quarters, I went over to basically. the uh, mm-hmm. went over think... to the token machine. And there was five dollars of tokens just sitting there that someone had not collected. So I just like, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about finding tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to know you... where Corey finds tokens? <laughs> no, just 
I found a lot of tokens. Oh, okay. Or tokens. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <dirty>. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a donkey show? <laughs> it was worse than that. <laughs> they all call him Turtle Jesus for nothing. I got ten you ever dollars. see the ping pong trip? Ping pong trick with uh, pinballs before. <laughs> that sounds oh. painful. Uh, yeah, and you've never seen a guy do a pinball. Yeah. Pinball trick <laughs> That's impressive. That's some serious sounding there. I worry about you most times. <laughs> I don't. Um, my least favorite was probably Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I really, I really want to like it as a horror fan, but it's bad. Mm-hmm. It's really, really shitty. There's like two whole targets that you hit the entire goddamn game, mm-hmm. and you never get to see the claw save. No, you don't get to see. Anything. <laughs> uh, my favorite is Monster Bash. On the other hand, because yes. it's amazing. That one was in good hard. condition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, my best game, I had one really good one on Star Trek The Next Generation, but I don't remember what the score was. Trick's awesome. I, um, I would say, I think my best game was actually on Adam's Family this year. Um, I didn't play that one time this year. My favorite table ever. And I, we went over to play it really good. early on, and I just had one of those never-ending balls on it. It was amazing. Like, I was like, oh my god, I finally get this machine, because it uses auto drain on me and like the power turned on and i was like fuck you power i'm making jackpots it was it was good um did at- you know on the adams family table <laughs> <laughs> what the adams family table had a check mark. that's all i know of the story yeah. I just- <laughs> there's an alien in the electric chair from, from attack from mars, attack from mars. They put it in in the they put it in the, inside the pinball machine it was insane <laughs> I, so it was like like the funny thing about it is that he was getting electrocuted it was it was yeah amazing. that was good Andrew. Any good stories from <laughs> <laughs> I at one point went to the Adams family machine and while I was playing it I looked and where there's the electric chair somebody had taken an alien from Attack from Mars No out of the Attack from Mars machine What oh. what a bunch of crazy chair. idiots Magic. <laughs> Amazing What did they do with it though <laughs> They just put it on the electric chair Wow how was it attached I don't know. Oh my god, maybe it was a magic. real alien. We'll never know. <laughs> Magnets, it's a miracle. <laughs> How the fuck do they work? It was half a bottle of tequila. And, your fa- and your favorite game that was not Twilight Zone. No, yes. y- I, <laughs> no, you know that's the thing. Like I would say, like what was my favorite game in your general? Favorite would undiscovered be Twilight game. Zone. Favorite undiscovered game. I mean, I had played a lot. Of, I've played a lot of the stuff they have there. I. Uh, I would like to say CSI, but it, it, I only played it the once. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel like it like really blew my mind. It was just like way better than I expected. Like sometimes you you go somewhere to eat and you're like, oh, I guess I'll get their burger, and you're like, whoa, this burger burger is like not the best burger I've ever had, but it was better than what I expected to have. That's you know? that Hawaiian burger joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like well, it's hmm. Kahuna can, burger. Can, yeah, Kahuna burger. Yeah, can I, I have some of your tasty I fright? Think, <laughs> I think Washington. I've. <laughs> I've I've played Monster Bash before, but the only time I played it was last year or last time, like six months ago in the tournament, and it was really nice to be able to play it a little bit more. And that machine is just so fucking clean. Like it just everything feels good on it. All the shots feel good on it. So I would say if I had to, it had to not be Twilight Zone, it would be that. But I would say my favorite machine was the the Twilight Zone they accidentally put on free play for the entire first day. Oops. <laughs> yep, so I just, I played that a lot. I love you, machine. <laughs> yep, I spent a lot of time in front that of that machine's one. probably sticky now. <laughs> yep. Mm. Mr. Chris. Uh, let's see. So, worst games that I played. Um, I, every single time I go to Papa, I go to Lord of the Rings thinking maybe this is the time <sighs> where I won't hate it. And every single time I'm proven wrong for a different reason. I agree. And I agree. and it, it does something weird every single time. And every single time I'm like, eh, God, I just hate this machine and I really want to like it. Is that Stern? Yes. Yeah. And, and you know, and you know I, I, I don't know if I mentioned my least favorite. I don't know if I said that or not. But I think I was going to say the same thing. It's like every time I go there, I'm like, 
God, I really want this to be good. Yeah. And it plays like absolute – I don't know if it's that machine because they actually use a machine in tournaments and people seem to really like it. But I don't know why it plays like a fucking piece the, of shit. The guy in front of us when we went to go play that put up like an incredible score on that. And he didn't look all that serious pinball guy. Yeah. So here I'm like, oh, this is probably a really easy table. It's probably really nice on scoring. And then I – failed miser i don't think i even broke a million on that and this guy had like 24 25 million and yeah that table made me feel like shit yeah like the ball will roll off the sword the balrog will do something dumb Mm -hmm. you know the ball would get stuck in random places and you have to wait five minutes for it to cycle you know whatever Mm -hmm. It, it it's a table that really needs to be good and really isn't um hopefully the hobbit will be well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think staring, that's Jersey so. Jack, so yeah. that'll yeah. be nice. Um, tables that I was really good at, uh, Indiana Jones, I think I was on that for 30 minutes because I just kept getting replays. Um, <laughs> and, and every single time I look behind me, it's like, does anyone want to know? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to keep going. Um, so that was fun. Um, I did really good on Theater of Magic. I think I was on that for a little while um, because the box actually worked. That's always fun. <laughs> Um, were you guys there Friday too? No. no. Okay. We so were just, in town Friday, but we weren't. You there. just you were there for just the two days. We went then. to go get ribs at DJ's. Okay. And you you were complaining about the Ripley's too, like oh just Ripley's like is just bad. I mean that's just a patently bad machine. Um, nothing about it I like. But that's another one where I keep going. It's like maybe this time it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. It's it's grown on me surprisingly. As much as I hate that machine, it's actually grown on me a little bit from playing it on Pinball Arcade. But yeah, I get it um, a little bit in the same boat. And and I played it once then on Saturday, and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't like this machine. And I was waiting for something. I think we we're waiting for Indiana Jones. I'm like, ah, I'll play this because no one's there. And I you know played it again, and it was fun. And played it like twice afterwards. And yeah, I. I don't know. I think it just depends on the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, another table that I did not like was uh, Tron. I, I was really excited oh, wow. for Tron. Because, Does anybody like, remember that table Tron? No. I no. Yeah. No. Yeah. So no. I, yes. I was actually considering picking up the <laughs> LE version if I could find one because it just looks outstanding. And says it's so good. Yeah. Too. And then I played it. I'm like, this is kind of boring. Yeah, there it's wasn't like, much Daft to do on music the in it. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It has the Daft Punk. Everything about this machine screams, you will like this. We built this for you, Chris. Enjoy. And then I just played it. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, but you didn't do a good job. They just need to make a Neuromancer machine for you. Oh, Johnny Mnemonic. They like the book? <laughs> God, oh. every single. Like, Johnny Mnemonic. Midnight Madness Pinball. Oh. Dude! <laughs> Leon! Uh, Faga Beefy? <laughs> Spell it Faga Beefy. <laughs> and for, uh, for multiball, uh, uh, Paul Rubens just jumps up and starts throwing balls at you from across the arcade. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, it's quite all right. Giant Mnemonic is a really good table, and unfortunately, the cyber hand is always busted on that thing. Mm-hmm. Um,. What was the other thing? Oh, uh, surprising table. Um, really like Sopranos. Really, really like that game. Um, didn't try that one. Yeah, I played it at Papa last year during the tournament, and I really enjoyed it. And then I played it again this year, and I really, really enjoy that table. Um, it's really true to the show. There's a lot of really fun shots in it. It does a lot of fun things. It cusses at you. you it does does the game just suddenly end? No. <laughs> And then Journey starts playing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does have the Journey, HBO right? like start sound. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you start one of the missions, yeah. it does the HBO start sound. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, oh, they they are gonna make a Game of Thrones. You know, they have to make a Game of Thrones oh, pinball at some point. I would probably Holy play that yeah. and then be disappointed. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one sounds like it would be awesome and then disappointed. So long as there's a shot that. Uh, Every spoiler, mode is spoiler, new. Every spoiler, time you play a mode, there's a shot that sh- that cuts Ned Stark's head off. I will be happy. <laughs> every time you play a mode, it's a new character. Spoilers like, like a thousand times. Yeah. Every new mode is a new character. One, I mean, like yeah. one of the ramps could be like on the like the wall. Like, mm. like the yes. biggest ramp would be. The wall like would be the that top. would be actually kind of cool around. looking. Okay. Yeah. It, it would have a character select, kind of like Doctor Who, except like you would have literally a minute to do it because you'd have to cycle through like yeah. about a thousand yeah. characters. Actually, I anticipate either that or a Walking Dead pinball machine. Oh, yeah. That would, yeah, yeah. Walking so. Dead Those zombie pinballs. Pinball. Yeah. Oh. 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 
Oh, what was your best? What was? Oh, you said your best score. What did you say your favorite machine was, Chris? Did I miss it? Uh, Sopranos. I Sopranos think. Sopranos okay, was, cool. okay. was one of my Sorry. favorites. Yeah, Monster we were Bash. Just talking about Monster Bash is always. <laughs> what's up? The thing no. you were just talking about. Yeah, the yeah. thing you were just talking uh, about. And then uh, Monster Bash was another one. Uh, mm. I would probably give up bodily organs to get that machine. If you got a yeah, if you had a Monster Bash, I wouldn't leave your house. I know. <laughs> and, and if I got a Twilight Zone right next to it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, so, this yeah. downstairs basement area would just be Corey, Corey and Megan. Empty bedrooms here. Yeah, do, Corey would this, sleep this downstairs light, zone. lighting arrangement. You get some black lights down here. Oh yeah, I would just be mad that it wasn't my Twilight Zone. Well, once you got bored with it, he'd sell it to you for a good price. <laughs> yeah. no. He'd have to because Corey would be chained. You to could it. earn it organ from him. You lost <laughs> because if you lost a, a vital organ, you could just take it from Corey later. Mm-hmm. I think Corey would suck your dick. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight in a row. Right. I went, that, that would get really uncomfortable about in a row. Yeah. See, I did, I tried to be all subtle and like a euphemism and like you can earn it, and you're just like, eh, no, no, we blow you. No. Yep. <laughs> all right, Andrew. Andrew, what would you suck dick for? <laughs> That's the worst Klondike bar advertisement ever. <laughs> The opposite. You have to say Klondike Bar. <laughs> well, I, as far as doing best at, I, I do have to mention um, Lane, who is not here anymore. Um, oh, what happened? What happened to her? She's no. still alive. She's, she's still alive. She's no longer with us. She's no, she's you no mean longer, I didn't have to pour out a beer? She's no longer here. Son of a bitch. Um, but. She, when we were playing Dirty Harry, she beat me by two billion points. I was gonna, I was gonna say, if you don't mention Dirty Harry, I will. That has the gun. You shoot yeah, the ball with yeah. the no. And gun. this, this awesome. was like Lane's first ever Magnum. like playing pinball period, and she, she, I'd say she beat me probably about sixty to seventy percent of the time. So uh, I, I'm not saying I'm good in any way, shape, or form, but it was. It was a lot of fun playing with her, and and definitely playing Dirty Harry. She destroyed me, and then so I feel shame. Favorite pinball machine was Dirty Harry, probably. Yeah, I, I, she had a lot of fun on that one because um, I think she after like after that she played a free uh, she got a free <laughs> game from that and got like four billion points. So <laughs> she beat me by two billion points, and then did another game with four billion. And she was wearing heels the whole day. That blew yeah. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as far as games that I really enjoyed, uh, I always enjoy Medieval Madness. That's a hell of a machine. Um, I had a lot of fun with the uh, Whitewater game. Um, and Which, the that the machine released on Pinball Arcade. Oh, did it yesterday? Yeah, the machine that they had was really loud there too. So, which is when, odd. Most of the machines are quiet. That's really the one dirty yeah. too. I don't. I, I don't want to say I don't like it about Papa, but it. And I guess because it's competition, they want they want a golf atmosphere. But it just seems like it's a big arcade. That if it had more sounds, maybe it'd be a little cooler ambiance. But that's a really that's a bad nitpick. Yeah. <laughs> but you get the bell. The bell goes off on all the old ones. So I mean, you get loud. that sound. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The then you get to hear all the pops. Yes. But yeah, that that. That Whitewater game was extremely loud. So every time you got the the Bigfoot, it was terrifying because you'd be like, <laughs> like oh! and he'd turn around, he was a big fuzzy thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd, his head would, like he's a little old looking. Yeah, he'd around, he'd like, look at you and be like, hey, <laughs> Whitewater's just an angry game. It never just talks to you. It's always like you're going down the yeah. rapids. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You plunged the ball. And no, like, it, whoa. It's, Dude, I just... You hit the left flipper! Yeah, you it, did it again! It is it is definitely nerve-wracking. And, uh... It's like you're with Santa, too, on the, the image <laughs> of the guy in white water. It's like Santa and, like, some bikini lady. <laughs> That's it. Oh, pinball. And, uh... I had fun with Jurassic Park. That was the first time I'd played that one. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the Velociraptor is terrifying, because it just... It shits the ball right down the middle. <laughs> and... But you get to you're... shoot it every time you plunge the ball. Oh, it's terrifying, though. Like, when you hit it, and it's just like, poof, and you're like, oh, my God, no! <laughs> so the raptor's just sitting there on the on the perch like, eh, fuck you, kid. Bang! It is! <laughs> it, like, 
I, I think I saved the ball once when I hit that that raptor thing, and it was just it it freaked me out. I, I think I shit my pants. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised with how you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> I so, played that the second day, though. I was uh, okay. I wasn't drunk that time. I was the only one that smelled like liquor the second day. <laughs> I wasn't acting drunk. Everybody just knew I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, because you, you used Old Crow as a cologne. <laughs> I didn't use it as a cologne. It was a no, that was his uh, electronic cigarette. Yeah. Uh, it was awesome. So when is uh, Papa World Championships? August? August 11th weekend. Okay. Everybody needs to go to Papa. Everybody needs to play pinball in their arcade or bar or pool hall or wherever. And everybody needs to download Pinball Arcade for their pl- favorite platform of choice. And except for Xbox, except for Xbox, <laughs> and and we use it. It's not out yet. Uh, but other than that, uh, hell of a show. We talked for two hours about a fucking pinball. How awesome that anything? Well, we and uh, and definitely if I can if I can break him down, I'm trying to get uh, Steve and Chris to enter C division with me in August. So. If, uh, if we got to... we got a goal between all of us here, somebody needs a fucking point. Okay, well, I had a point, point for five minutes. You had yeah. a point for five. Chris had a point. I for had five, five minutes. points for like a few minutes. I'm sitting there looking at it on my tablet, going like, "I'm still in it. I'm I'm 87th. This is awesome." And yeah. then uh, eventually it went away. Is there a D division? No, C is, no, C is yeah. there was a D division this year at Pinsburg. Is the first okay? That might have division. been where I got it. I'll... There was a D but division. There yeah. was a D division. I swear there was a D yeah. division, but yeah. not at not at Papa. I think they're still doing A B C. So, but it's worth. Mentioning that even if you don't think you're good at pinball, it is totally worth entering in because you get a t-shirt and some other stuff. And, and some swag. And don't you and get nationally swag. ranked? Who is telling me that even if you don't do anything, yeah, you end you up with like IFPA points. awesome yep. ranking? Yeah. Yep. So whoever among us gets a point, or whoever gets the most points, in case some two people get points, the, I'll, I'll buy them a, 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 a Pittsburgher... Uh, Coleslaw and French fries. From Manny Brothers. From, from, yeah, from, this is from my goal to be in all these like nerd competitions. I've been in the Tetris World Championship, the Crossword World Championship, and the now pin- the pinball. I have to do it. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, so, so that's you're it. fucking I- Bo Jackson. <laughs> Steve knows, he was, nerd. He was actually good at all those things. <laughs> Not crosswords. So does that mean you're in, Steve? Uh, well, I don't know if I have the time. Like oh. that weekend, yeah. Is, is I, it, I, I, I took really time off the next weekend, week. So. Uh, next week, so it, we'll, it, see. we'll see. Is it boys it's, only? It's, Can I? Oh, play? No, no, it's it's no, it's, it's I want to play. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they actually specifically say that it's not track and field. Men and women compete together. I want to I want to do it in. I think she meant out of this you, group. Yeah, in this this lane. Oh no, you're not allowed. But were you discriminating against? I decided you're not allowed. You're not allowed to come or play. Sorry. Girls are allowed, but not you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Aww. not a girl boy thing. It's just a you thing. So, Sorry. so you're you're in oh next year in August. All right. <laughs> she knows we're joking. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's thirty five bucks. You get to play on I think four tables that are tuned for tournament play. They're hard. They they've done all of the Papa modifications to them, but it's probably the best version of well, that table you will ever. And play there's in also your life. bonuses on each machine that oh, yeah, the, the first person to. Like get wizard mode, or the first person to do X whatever, you get uh, money. You get like a yeah money There's prize, like fifty hundred bucks, cash yeah. money, cash yep. money, cash money, millionaires. So you could possibly Cream. pay for your cash rules everything. And maybe their tattoo assassins machine will actually be working. They have never had the it's tattoo mas- assassins yeah. machine up. Makes me so. But sad. they had discs of Tron up this time, so they're slowly turning. The I ball. just really want to shoot a roast. Turkey Bowen advertised ass, that so. Tattoo Assassins would be working, and it was not. It's one of the fun- finishers. I'll show you a video. I just, I, I, just I have want, it upstairs. I just want okay. a host from the podcast or a friend of the podcast to get one point. That's all yeah. I want. Well, regardless, you'll have a sheet with your score on it at the end of it, so we can at least compare scores afterwards. You mean so. our zeros? You well, we can zeros. have our actual regular no scores. Zeros? Sometimes gives you awesome points. There. I'm yeah, so you'll at in. least be able to see what your score was on the machine. Okay, so, we could, so in lieu right. of anybody getting a point, the the best finishing podcaster friend gets a free Fermenti Brothers sandwich. Does that but mean, it has to be the one with coleslaw and fries. Does that mean you're in? Yeah, uh, they, yes. as, as long as I'm going, I'll do it. Fries? Huh? huh? Don't they all have coleslaw and flies? fries? Flies? I think, I think flies. some people order. They all like have flies. coleslaw and flies. You can order it without coleslaw or fries. Well, why but would you want to do that? Good. Because coleslaw hey, I, no, I, no, you did get it with I got it with everything. Right. I just had to take Corey. some of the coleslaw it off. I think coleslaw is It was purgatory down Almost the way, too. Who, uh-huh? Purgatory? Yeah, not too far away from 
from uh, where we played, there's a place called Burgatory. And Ooh, they have heavenly sounds... shakes and burgers from hell or something mm. like that. I, yeah, next, that oh, go ahead. That place is amazing. I got this uh, this barbecue burger that had a uh, a cocoa and Kona coffee like rub on it. It was really good. Actually, okay, that place sounds awesome. Let's go there next year. Yeah, was I Buffalo? agree. Or not next year, six months. What's that? Yeah, it was, it was we'll go to we'll go to DJs. Then right, we're getting kind of hipstery here. Let's, let's end the podcast and talk about food after we're off the, <laughs> fear, off, the off the air. We didn't Instagram it. It's we fine. didn't we didn't Yelp this shit. I, I didn't check in to Foursquare. <laughs> you are the mayor of Papa. <laughs> I was not the mayor of Papa. They have great I'm the mayor of the Board of Elections, though. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Now you're playing with podcast. All right. That's everything we have for today's episode. And I say that because there was probably about another hour and a half of conversation about pinball, aside from the two-hour podcast we did about pinball. Seriously, we talked about pinball all night. It was wonderful. Um, before we go, I uh, do definitely need to send a, a great shout-out to uh, to Papa, just because without them and the work that they do and just making those machines available twice a year, there's so many machines that we wouldn't have the opportunity to play and there's definitely a lot of experiences we wouldn't get, you know, we wouldn't be able to have without them. So absolutely wonderful work that they do. Um, if you want to read some more about them, uh, papa.org is their main website. Uh, they also did a Kickstarter recently to, uh, to do, um, a lot more, uh, like like film work, a lot more video work, and so they're going to be doing some more video of tournaments and things along those lines. Uh, they're actually going to do a um, like a, a video kind of a tour across the the U.S. Uh, because they hit like one of their largest Kickstarter programs. Um, you can follow all of that on Papa TV. And uh, the next uh, tournament that's coming up is coming up in August. I believe it is the eighth through the eleventh. And if you are anywhere near the Pennsylvania area. I cannot recommend enough to stop by and check them out. And if nothing else, give them a little bit of support. I also want to send a uh, another big thank you out to uh, to Chris, uh, not the host Chris, but the other Chris for uh, hosting us um, the night we recorded the podcast and uh, providing all the food and snacks and stuff and uh, letting us uh, play his Black Knight 2000 machine all night, which was fun and wonderful and awesome. And definitely thanks to everybody who you know ran downstairs and, and you know got away from the pinball machine to come and uh, talk about pinball a little bit. So hey, thanks guys, appreciate it. Hope everyone enjoyed the episode and. Uh, stick uh stay tuned because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up on the horizon until then thanks for listening Hey listeners, this is Tatton. Just wanted to take a quick moment and let you know that there's lots of great places you can follow Now You're Playing With Podcast. We have a Facebook page set up, which is Now You're Playing With Fan Page. We have a a Twitter account set up, which is NYPW Tweets or Now You're Playing With Tweets. And, uh, of course, all the episodes are available for download from nowyourplayingwith.com. So we hope you enjoy the show. Uh, If you like it, please uh, take a moment and send us a message. Let us know what you think about it. And uh, we hope to have some more shows coming for you soon. Until then, thanks for listening.